Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I forgot that Tam's not going to do that. It's going to be in their kitchen. Um, right. Hey. We'll just go here then. We'll just go here. What's cooking up, everybody? Later. <laughs> We're doing a cooking stream tonight. That is true. I push the button that I normally do on every other night. Yeah, you know? it's understandable. What's currently in our kitchen? Um, you've got a you've got a muscle memory. I do. I do. I got that carrot toss and mood shirt on too, oh, guys. Well, what up? What up? We know what Raj is thinking about. Uh, cooking. Carrots. The cams work tonight. Oh, don't, don't, don't you, don't you dare. <laughs> don't say a word. All right. <laughs> you say the wrong thing. <laughs> I know. We yeah. Don't yeah. know why they work. <laughs> just the yay. What did yay. you do that changed? No, nothing. <laughs> it just worked tonight. Uh, just, it's, it's just great. The balls are off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They uh, actually are on. Yeah, yeah. All the cams work today. Yeah. Uh, we, do, well, let's. I mean, let me let me double check that though. Hold on, hold on. We have two cams on this this scene right here. 
We do. We do indeed have two cams on this scene right here. All right. Okay. All, all right. right. Okay. All right. All right. right. All yeah, right. we just got to accept. Just accept it, everybody. Just got to accept. Wow. That, okay, so we were watching a little bit of uh, the Marvel... I'll, I'll say XCOM, even though Co didn't agree with me. All right. That's what Raj said. Um, the Marvel Style Midnight Suns game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's 60 bucks. I know. Yeah, yeah. So. It's a $60 game. I mean, it looked like the, the cutscenes all looked really, like the graphics all looked really good. So. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, uh, guys, so the deal is today, um, we're going to start with a little Valheim this evening. Uh, the, the recipe, uh, we're doing wings and beef stroganoff, so I hope you guys are excited for the full edition of that. It will be our first stroganoff. Hope you're excited about stroganoff later. First stroganoff that we're going to have right now. Still going to try to hit the sub goal today, guys. That does help us out a great deal. And it sure I does. did get chicken wings. I will admit the chicken wings were not on sale. They were not. The chicken they were for, a little for a, For pieces of chicken that they used to throw away off the yeah. sides of the chicken, yeah. they're way too fucking expensive. Well, we're going to do we some had... spicy wings, and I got some new techniques for you guys for the sauces. I already probably ooh, dropped ooh. the ball, but I already spilled the tea. I guess. Spilled the beans. Spilled the beans. Spilled the wings. Um, talked about what I do, but we'll we'll That's now okay. you get to see it live. Yeah, you know, it's one of exactly. those. Exactly, exactly. I'm I'm looking forward to that as well. well. We've been talking about wings all week, so it's yeah. gonna have to happen tonight. Yeah, we were we we, we have a, a a severe craving for wings. But the, uh, the I will, two of us. I'll so. say between like the beef and all the stuff, it was it was not the cheapest right now. So no, uh, no. some will be uh some, some will be helpful. It'd I'll be, be awesome. Really, really, really neat. Uh, anyway, let's start with some Valheim, guys. Uh, let's get going. Let's get Vikinging. We're gonna get I did a little bit off stream. Um, I did a little bit off stream. I had them for lunch. You had wings for lunch. Sounds good. Where's your keyboard? I don't know. Where's your keyboard? That's the question. How many hands are you typing with? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, what what was your what was your sauce, Mecca? What was your wing sauce today? Because I gotta say, Raj, I gotta say, three. Three. Three? Is that my hands you're typing with? Or is that the right answer? Um All three hands. Standard hot wings. Can't go wrong. Raj. We're gonna I, make hers a little spicy. I gotta be honest with you. What's that? I've been thinking about that curry sauce. Curry sauce? Maybe for one or two of my wings I'm gonna put that on there. Which it's gone. Oh, is it gone? Do you use it? I, I've used most of the sauces. I didn't okay. want them to go bad. Oh no, I totally understand that. Cheeseburger from McDonald's. My brain's made I order food from somewhere, even though I have food here at home. Fire type, that is the, the, the fight always, isn't it? You're like, I don't want to spend more money on food. I have food at home. It's true. It is true. That's one of the things that we've been doing um, with the cooking streams, actually, is learning how to make food that we would order normally. So legit, real talk for a second, right? Um, you guys think <laughs> I'm bullshit when I say I will do a full-on like meal late at night. Check Twitter, by the way. I it's totally true. did the full fucking meal like at 4 a.m. And and I get up, I'm like, what smells really good? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even I don't even care if it's not like breakfast food. I'm like, it smells fucking good in here. Yeah. Uh, this isn't really cooking, but you should make hot chocolate bombs. Oh my goodness, that is. But then you have to like temper the chocolate correctly, and you have to do the freezing in the in the molds and stuff. Like I've seen them made. And um, and I appreciate all the 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 craftiness that goes into it. I just don't. That's that's almost like tedious, you know. <laughs> you find it tedious? Maybe a little. A bit of the tedium like, then. Working like working with um, like working with chocolate, you know. I've never been able to temper chocolate correctly. That's one. That's one thing I've never done. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because that's the mid cook snack, and not enough of it makes it into the. It sounds much harder than it is. Most recipes do, yeah, to be fair. You have to find like what do you use for what do you use for a mold? You can use a lot of different things, I think. Yeah, you have to have like half of a ball though, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I was wondering if you got the uh, chance to do some offline stuff. A little bit last night. I got the edits done. Like I said, I've been editing about ten hours a day. For the last like week, that's so many editings. Um, it's a lot, and uh, just real talk for a minute. I, I kind of needed a little bit of a break, so I got the edits done for tonight. Check out the shorts, please. Do guys helps us out Bang a great deal. Short in chat. Um, but the uh, the other deal is, um, 
Yeah, I just did the two edits, and then uh, I was like, we're good. Good. I'm glad you took a break because, it, yeah. I was going to get burnt. You yeah, you don't want to get burnt. I'll get fried out, bud. The Christmas present one? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> We got some more filming to do literally after stream tonight, too. That's going to be a thing. So That's true. It is how... Th oh, no. That's how things are going to go down. Did my screen come on? Oh, my God. It, every, oh, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say you it. You stop I'm, saying I'm, 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 I'm going to stop saying things. Let's see what this Raj did last night. This is not the time. Night. Let's see what Raj did last night. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a whole other thing over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it right now. Whoa, Raj. Look at this. This is going to be our new home. Isn't it That's lovely? That's amazing. Is it lovely? It's amazing. Can I get away with this guy on the top here? I can, without it collapsing. Okay. Do you know what I think I'm gonna do? Huh. I'm gonna scout out a path to the south that maybe we can use for our carts. Um, I played a little bit last night. You may want to see how much resources we have in oh, there. Oh, <laughs> how much did you play last night? Because you already got like most of a barn built too. <laughs> All right, let's put it this way. I have a bronze ax and I have a bronze mace. Um, but I didn't go further, which I could have. Um, I want to get armor for us, though, so we might need a, a cart path, maybe. Okay. You need a bronze axe and a bronze mace. Is there There's any... definitely enough for a bronze mace for you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, but uh, I would like armor as well, so it's yeah, kind of a thing. Yeah, so I agree. I agree. You so, like the starter hut still? I mean, the starter hut's really good, but you know good. you it's need so not, much more it's room. It's not big enough, my friend. We're going for the barn look here, boys. Well, the barn is going to be, um, you know, a good stationary. Again, one of the things I want to do in this playthrough is to have like a full on. Yes. Oh, my God. I cannot fucking see. I'm maced. Are you maced? I am. Mace wind, dude? Yes. If only it were purple, you know? Oh, God, I can't see it. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Where do you nice. find things like, um, for example, like how you upgrade the workbench? Like, where does that? Where do you find? Oh, you just go to this stuff here. Uh, don't do any more upgrading in there. We're just the whole thing is moving. No, I this totally way. understand. I just I'm curious as to what the next move is. That's all. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the next move is going to be upgrading the forge. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna scout out. I'm just gonna scout out cart paths. Now, the other thing is, is uh, I remember what we, we kind of made the mistake of being Minecrafters last time. I, I know that sounds like it's not a mistake, but it actually was, and here's why. We were like, oh my god, we are going to need so much of these resources, and we wouldn't mind like 7 billion fucking things of whatever it was, right? Uh -huh. And at the end of the day, we didn't, need, we, didn't need, we needed like one pathway through, and then we were good. Yeah, I think I remember that too. Yep. That boar came after me like I just killed his favorite lizard. Did you kill his favorite fucking lizard? I might have. Oh, well, then that, there, now you know why. I didn't know it was his favorite lizard, though, you know? I mean, how are you going to know somebody's favorite lizard, really? I, it's hard to tell. It if is they don't, hard to If tell. they don't tell you, like, you're just not going to know. Precisely. All right. Well, but building in this game is so much fun, though, by the way. Ha, oh, you like that one, Mark Lock? That's super good. Don't change the subject. <laughs> Pig with meerkat was taken. They had to go with lizards. <laughs> when he was a young ward hog. Boom, ba boom, ba 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 boom. All right, so I think we got it up to this bit. And I'm just gonna need to make a support before I finish this roof out. That's the thing about building big in this game, though. You do have to like. Supported. It's got like physics and shit. Mm. So uh, you can't. You can't just go building, building all willy nilly. Earworming without any song lyrics. Pff, what's yeah, up? Yeah, well, yeah. All right, there, big shooter. <laughs> we up, 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 up. Okay, daddy, up. Don't fall. 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 Don't 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 don't. No 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're going to pop one of those, pop one of those, do a little... Pop it, pop it, pop it. Do a little it. dance. I'm just picking up rocks like before you mow the lawn, you know? Is that what you're doing over there? Yeah. Picking up them rocks before mm -hmm. you mow the lawn? Mm-hmm. Ah, I fell. Dang. Ergon, he fell. 
Um, hello? Can we not just pop it on there? Like, why is it not like... Did I put it over there? I did not put it over there. That one looks a wee bit crooked, doesn't it? All right, so you guys, all, you guys all like the whole physics thing, huh? I do too. I'm a fan of it. I don't hate it. I think we're just gonna do, what is it? Two, two plus ones. Whee, boink, boink, boink. All right, so we'll do like a couple of two plus ones here. Or two plus half is, is a better way to put it. So I can stand on this bit there and then we do halves, right? And then on the halves, then we can make the uh, cross beams. Mr. Requirement. God damn it. I might need more wood, by the way. That might be a thing. All right. And supports can be a fun puzzle. I agree. 100%. I am on board with all of these things. Oops. All right. How much more wood do I have? Actually, not a lot. Fuck. All right. Let's go. Chucko, do you have your Pee Wee Herman shoes? Let's <laughs> see who knows this one. Oh, God. A deer. A female deer. Oh, God. <laughs> Dope. I'm chopping down this big tree. Because I feel like it. Wow. I am so powerful, chat. You had no idea. I want... I single swung and lopped this thing down. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got it. Oh. I'm the most easily earwormable person in history. Uh, Hermes' brain is 90% filled with song lyrics. <laughs> I know. If you, you might not and, know that. And 0% where my keys are. <laughs> yeah, 0% of that. 0% of useful things, like where are my keys? A ton of fun routing the smoke out of the base. That's actually a really cool like puzzle to solve too. I will be putting a smokestack in the center of this. Anybody from the smokestack here? <laughs> <laughs> Only 90%? I mean, I, I, was, I was, you know, going given, you know, a little bit of maybe more than that you know, or something. You know, we're gonna get stuck on that pebble, so I gotta get rid of that. Why have we gone and mined two full copper veins? Just say so you no. Know. Well, that's nice. So what else? What do we need still then? Um, we, armor turn? and I want a shield. And I think I we make pickaxes. I'm pretty sure we do the, the bronze pickaxes. And All then right. that's it. So we don't need to go any further than that. But we do need to get more trolls for the cape. All right. We need a, we need a troll cape. I think we need, a, I think it's like, it's probably do we, four troll kills. Do we, have to, do we have to pay the troll toll? No, I'm not going to jump in there. I think it's a bad place to go on Twitch. Hey, you know, mm -hmm. if you want to, you, you don't want to be in those channels, Hermie. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, hope you guys are having a fantastic night, guys. Uh, quick reminder: I know things are going to be very different this evening, but we are still going to try to hit that sub goal. Um, those things help us out a great deal. Any True. tips that may come in, we're just going to say is going to help with the cost of the meal. That's basically how that's going to be working. Yeah. I'll even go one step further and say, if we have any tips that come in, we will carry those over to Minecraft on Monday. And uh, maybe uh, maybe honor some chance cubes is what you're exactly saying. Exactly what I'm saying. I thought that might be what you're saying. All right, we're full. You can skip the bronze pick, but mining speed. Yeah, you have to put things back in the spot or else you lose them because your brain's full of song lyrics. I know. Oh, yeah. Who's getting the tip? Oh, my goodness. That's uh. the question, isn't it? That's always the question, Snake. Bees, dude. Just the tip, dude. Oh, just the tip. Alrighty. Where the hell did I get one of those freaking things? All right. Anyway, we'll go ahead and put it over here then. I made a big cooking spot. Oh well, it's on theme, isn't it? Um, yes, it is on, on theme. theme What's of the day? That? Yo, any primers? The freeze That's has got a prime. prime. All right. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you so much for that prime. Any primers? Any primers of the chat? All right, fridge. Thank you so much, dude. Cheers, man. Cheers. Greatly appreciate that. I spent all this time leveling the ground, and I miss a rock like three times, and now it's all fucked up. Yeah, there's like a strat to it. It's weird, though. Did I... Is there a thing there? Apparently, yeah, there's a thing I there. don't know it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't make charcoal, don't make charcoal, don't make charcoal. <laughs> Give me that meat. I feel like real-life Raj is a... Uh... More skilled at smoking than Viking Raj. Um, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That looks pretty good. I mean, it's going to be super Barney. 
Who's I beeping? I love you. Don't you even... Not, not that Barney. But you said it. You know it and I know it. That's not the Barney I meant. I just gotta make... When my phone beeps at this hour, I just gotta make sure enough things that nobody's like... Oh, it. I know. Nobody's dead. Okay. We're in the hospital. No. The, the school is out of internet. That is a <laughs> message that we had today. Oh, God. The kids are gonna have to come in. No more remote learning days. Oh, God. What are we gonna do? We're gonna teach these kids or not have them watch movies all day? Wow, I don't think they do that. Yeah, they kind of do, actually. They still do. Don't want to teach some, today? Some days they... There's educational videos. Sure, sure, sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> I didn't know you were anti-movie day. I was not anti-movie day. I'm actually pro-movie day. Just, um... <laughs> I, I am... But I am kind of anti for, to real talk. Like, hey, uh, it's a school from home day. I you understand know. that. I'm like, let the, let the kids have their snow days, guys. You know? See, I know nothing of Pee Wee Herman. I'm not entirely sure if it was before you or didn't care for it. Pee -wee at Herman all, my good sir, I didn't care for it at all. Pee Wee Herman's definitely 80s. Definitely 80s. Um, it's got Morpheus from yep. um, the Matrix. From as, the Matrix as Cowboy Curtis. He's Cowboy Curtis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of a big old thing there. All right, now for this spot right here, we're gonna do a little like a factory bit, make a little. Stackaroony like that, and then a stackaroony like that. So we have like a little chimney going out there nice. like that. And then uh, I think we can get away with doing something like this. Pretty sure. Now the problem is I'm gonna slide off here. Run, run, run! Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. I got pot. Toss one there. We're starting to get a little weak up on the in the in the in the joints though. Uh oh. It's not looking good. All right, I think we got to put the, these roof pieces on first. I think that's what the, that's going to give us some structural oh no. stability. Oh, no. You have a problem over there, Hans? Well, I might have cut down all the trees in the forest at once. No, that's a good thing. <laughs> Somebody said they needed more wood for building, so I took that to heart. It takes a lot of wood. Installing appreciation. Snake with the $15. I'm going to write it down right now. Thank that you. is three chance cues on Monday. Thank you so much, Snake. Make sure you lube this tip. <laughs> Snake, thank you so much. You oh. will absolutely get some chance cues when you come into chat on Monday. Um, uh, how, how 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 thick is the tip? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, because thin tips, you could, you know, you you could you could you could take it pretty easily. Uh, it's it's the it's the girthy ones that you gotta 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 you gotta, gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do some breathing gotta, exercises first or something, right? Twitch needs to accept that. Uh, no, I'm totally fine. If you guys want to tip us outside of with outside of Twitch, that's totally cool. Yeah, we have. We we have PayPal. Uh, username checks out currency type. <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I I don't use Cash App personally, so I don't know if if uh, it plays nicely with PayPal or anything. But hug like a tuna can around. <laughs> How um, mm, 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 what's the word I want to look for? How much did we have left over? Oh my god, we have a fuck ton left over. And I made a mace already. You are made a mace. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can get a shield going here. We still need more to make our make sure that we get a boat as well. There's some cheat weapons in the game. One is a hammer that destroys and mines everything. It's, yeah, we know that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's on our first rodeo, by the way. Um, you guys are not going to spoil anything, really. The only thing we haven't played in this game is the Mistlands part. Is the part. Mistlands, exactly. We literally have like 400 hours in this game, so um, it's it's been what, it's been a minute, but it's one of our favorites, though. But we love it, yeah. We love it. Uh, I just need a little bit of wood. Here, Raj. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so. Oh, do you want me to give you some more wood then? Oh, yeah. oh Raj is a sad, sappy Viking. Oh, I'm a He's sad dripping. Viking. <laughs> Can you give me some wood though? You bet. <laughs> What's up, one eye Willie? How you doing? Have we seen third one? Yep, seen it all, baby. Killed the big old serpent things, brought brought him back to the. I'm just not the overly. The land. I'm just not overly fond of what follows. You scared of a little lightning? I'm just not overly fond of what follows. True point. Good point. Oh, I have a bunch of fine wood, baby. Where did I leave it there? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Lots of fine wood. All right, how baby, we? Baby, your wood's so fine. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, my, my wood is so fine, baby. You won't even know. Oh, buckler. Mm, mm. 
bronze buckler. Ooh, that is a sexy, sexy buckler. How many did that? How many did that run you? Ten. So we're gonna need more. Okay. Uh, bronze plates, leggings, and oh, is there not a helmet? Oh, there is. So we need fifteen bronze for each of us for the armor. We have five remaining. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's gonna be, and we need more tin as well. So okay. if you if you want to tackle that, while I get the uh, the new place built. Absolutely. Um. This is the one game we do keep the spare gear. I forgot. Because what? if you die, you have to go get your shit. You oh, don't want to go out naked. Um, can confirm. Yeah. The bees are happy. Bees, dude. Uh, my friends got me into modding our last playthrough behind. It was a bit of a pain to install mods. I think that's why we didn't. I think we, we were like, hey, let's check um, out the mods. Oh, that doesn't seem like it's fun. I, Fuck mods. We also, we also like kind of want to make sure that we... Well, at least for me, I want to make sure I have vanilla down before I go like messing with mods because I do not, that's not fun for me to like troubleshoot a bunch of mods when I'm trying to have fun playing a game. No, no, I, I, I don't want to do the troubleshooting of the mods either. Um, but it's, well, I think what the things that there's some really nice quality of life ones like auto stack the chests and. Um, oh, that's, that's nice for anything. But I mean, we play vanilla Minecraft. Like it's, it's not easy. It's like, it's like, you know, out of your way, not fun at times. Sometimes, yeah, yep. So I'm used to the inconvenience of doing things manually at times. So stuff on the ground by the beehives. What? What are you talking about? Bees, dude. Hi. Hello. Just building a barn over here. Um, the bee Call textures. Me. The bee textures do that little floaty thing like items do sometimes. So that could be it. I don't see anything. Build camera. I can see that. Uh, yeah, build camera is a big one. Um, there's other ones like the torches that we you make. They require uh, fuel. Um, there's like so there's there's a few that are uh, infinite torches. That That's nice. Just like once you uh, yeah, once you just, oh come on, make the jump, but not too far. Well, this thing asks me every day to share my Twitch baby. Sure, we love hearing about your Twitch babies. Um, if you if it asks you to share, go ahead and share. Like, Twitch isn't always you know, the best. So d do what you want to do. It, if it's if it's for us, it counts. Okay. It's like it's like the old UPS thing. If it fits, it ships. You know what I mean? Like we're like we're <laughs> like yeah, let's go. Okay, get down up. Whoa. Whoa. If Hermie gives a barrage, what will the stream get sanctioned? If what? That's that's a that's the uh, as yet unexistent. We all play as only fans. <laughs> uh true, true. I'm giving Raj wood, huh? Oh, you're giving me some wood? Well, I did. I already did. Oh, I already yeah, that's true. I already gave you all the wood I had. But if you give me all the, all the wood you have, how are you going to have your... Never My mind. My own wood? Never mind. That is a barn if I've ever seen a barn, dude! At least, I have at least made it's not a cathedral. a barn. It's not a church. That's or true. Or a McDonald's. What's that? That's a prime Who sub. Who did that? One-Eyed Willie dropping in that prime sub. For the, oh. Whoa, hey. All right, all right. I like the proposition. Okay. Just, just coming straight out after. I it, mean, huh? if, if you're going to drop a prime and you're like, how about that love making though? It's, you know. I do have the shirt on. It's a he character does, awesome he does. shirt. Thank, thank you, One-Eyed Willie. Wood for sheep. Wrong country. Are you in Wales? <laughs> <laughs> the Welsh. All right. So we're resting in here, and there's this pork bench should be good to go now. Yep. All right. Cool. Now we can bring in the other shit, and then we're gonna do. Actually, want to do this. Uh, do I have enough wood? <gasps> Three is not enough I, wood. Raj, I just knocked down another tree for you. Oh my god, you are, you're really about all that wood, aren't I'm you? I'm mining full. Well, I'm also trying to kind of make a pathway for the cart. Ah. Understood. All right, for our little boxes on the hillside, here's how we're gonna play it today, everybody. We're gonna do a little half walls just like so, all the way across here. They will all have their very own sign. Then we're gonna go ahead and do this guy, because I think it's like much, much cheaper. And I can put it there. Got my wood cutting skill up, look at me go. Boom, that's I'm what's the, up. I'm a lumberjack and I am okay. Chop at night and I sleep all day. 
There we go. That's looking pretty good. And then on the uh, furniture. Yep, yep, yep. Let me just do this. I feel cold. Oh my gosh. I actually have like a cold aura. I never noticed that before. You have a cold aura? I, it's like a blue cloud. Sounds ominous. Do that. I think it is ominous. Congratulations. Oh, it's a type we of $5 are now as well. Thank you so much. Zero, 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 five percent of the way to one million. Marking you down for a chance. Keep on I found a way. Yay. Thanks for all the good streams. Aww. Well, we appreciate Thank that. Thank you, currency type. That was very kind of you. Do you want wood? Always. I'm building a bunch of shit. 50. From me to you. Whoa. 50 woods. Just like that. I should have another bank of two here, right? Uh, yeah, it should be on this one. Cool. That looks pretty good. Can we sleep so I can see the dig? I guess. I know, I'm the worst. There are Fine. enemies nearby. Hold on. What? Enemies? Are there many enemies of just the one? He did. Love the bronze mace, eh? Uh, it's actually not as good as the dagger on those guys, but it's better for like skellies. So the tier that we're on, it's better for. Mm. Great talent slide beneath you and you feel yourself rising, lifted from your body like a babe from its crib. Confusing the hell out of chat because my message says completely different. <laughs> 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 We narrate our dreams in this game. Uh, Don't mind. Just, it's uh, just fine. Get in, get in your noggin there. All right, I think that should be good. Um, all right, just gotta move all the shit in. Let's uh, let's get let's get fucking moved. DM your friend who has PayPal and get him to. Oh, I ah. see. Okay, okay. Congratulations. Oh, another five we bucks. We are now zero point zero zero well, thank you, zero thank you, thank zero you. zero five percent of the way to one million. I am feeling kind of generous. Well, we appreciate well, thank that. Thank you. And there's even a bonus in it for you. The next uh, Monday, we'll be we'll be dropping in um, the chance cubes for you on that. So, uh, what are we? What else are we moving? We're moving everything. Everything. Yes, exactly. So, if you want to grab, I don't know, some beds or some shit, I don't know, fucking it. I think right there should be good. Okay. For beds? Uh, no, it's not for beds. I'm just grabbing the uh, the crafting bits here. Hold up. I'm actually gonna take that wall out. Uh oh. That sounded like I broke. Oh. I'm moving beds. Oh god. I was like, sounded like so much things fell down. <laughs> I'm moving beds. Oh god. I think I broke it. Oh god. I broke it. So I just we just get the wood back. Uh, you get everything that you craft out of that back. Oh, well, awesome. I don't know what the beds were made out of, so. Do you have a building chest over here that I can put them in? The beds? Yeah. Or the bed pieces, I guess. The 29 wood I ended up with. No, I do not uh, as of right now. Okay. Um, but... Or an idea where you want to put the beds? I actually don't. I was thinking like a loft maybe, but... Mm, oh, you know what we could do? What? Mm. Mm. Five, zero, zero. <laughs> you like that? You like the TTS? What's up there, Zer Clash? How you Zer doing? Zer Clash, hello. I hope you're having a fantastic one today. I have a I have a Fleetwood Mac song in my head. Oh, R.I.P. Christine McVie. Did you hear about that, Raj? No. Christine McVie died. Really? Yep, she did. You can hide it on. You can hide it on the rafters. We could hide it in the rafters. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. So I got this little metal area here. It's metal, dude. Um, I guess it's kind of good enough for now. We could probably get like resources and shit going. Uh, I do kind of want to do a little hoeing out here because, you know, sometimes you just got to hoe, baby. Sometimes you just got to hoe. That's right. Um, 
I will drop this wood somewhere. Oh, we can start uh, banging out the, the uh, what we're going to use the, the chest for. I know. Are there any thoughts before I start? It doesn't really matter. Just as long as I want to put signs underneath them so we know what goes where. Okay, that's a good idea. Not familiar with Twitch because I quit streaming. All I know is $10 from currency type. Who knows? Maybe 20. Hey! <laughs> well, thank you very much. Currency type's friend? We appreciate you doing being the the, uh, the cash liaison for the currency type. True. Currency yes. type requires thank currency you. type uh, uh, change. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, I just got a whole new build. Is that fine wood? Is that why? Probably, yeah. Wow. Man, this wood is fine, baby. I don't know. This wood is fine. Cartography table? I don't remember yeah, that I kind of, I kind of want to make that. I kind of do too. It cool. looks bitchin'. Looks fucking cool to me. Um. So. Oh. Now, guys, I can't remember. Is it where your feet are when you're hoeing that it determines the level or like where your cursor is? Isn't it where is? the? Yeah, I think it's where that yellow circle is. So if I do it up there, no, it doesn't seem that way. No. It's I'm at foot level. Much. Oh, Raj, I'm so sad. I'm carrying too many rocks. Oh, my God. Too many rocks. Oh. For, too many rocks for Hermie. Oh, no. <laughs> foot level? <laughs> We're not at core wood yet. Raj, I can't walk up here. I'm too heavy. <laughs> you made me a lip. <laughs> I can't walk up it. Oh, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> I really can't. I know. I know. I you can't move at that point. Stamina. I'm stuck in the doorway. <laughs> Oh shit! No, uh, no, no creepers in Valheim. Oh my god, I was right. Subway, 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 that was 10 bucks. It was a creeper sound. Thank you. That's another uh, two chance cubes, guys. Write it seven. down. That is your jam, baby. All right. Wait, what the fuck happened subway, here? Subway, 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 subway. I solved. Did you manage to work it out? Somehow. All right, some of this stuff is going to have to move, friend. Wait, if, we, if I shut that, can you put a thing there? Yeah. There Thank you. you. I like people, like making people happy, maybe. <laughs> oh, Snake. Snake, you're like, we're just going to go right there, bud. We're going to, we're going right there, man. It's, it's there. It's, it's, there. it's there. I don't know. All them red crayons are going to your head, bud. Uh, put the punctions wherever you like. I usually do, yeah. Hey, guys, the kids I had in my care, two of them went home to mom and dad, and the other had to have committed. Oh, my God. Here's everybody. 2023 will be better. Yes. Positive vibes to you. And they get to get a water leak fixed because, yeah, high water bill is nasty with a leak. Yep. We've we know that really well. Yes. I wish we didn't, but we fucking do. Yep. I hashtag blame our old landlord. I was like, are you going to fix the pipe that's spewing water in the basement for the water bill that we're responsible for? It's cost us about 600 bucks a month. Right? Yeah. He's like, oh, I didn't know it was a problem. I was like, what about the time I told you it was? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Just didn't hitch up there? <laughs> Why I'm laying here naked watching you two, little does she know. Whoa, hey. Hey. <laughs> well. Put the punctuation. <laughs> so my mind went very bad with that. It's like, me and my wife just filled a porno. She doesn't know it yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? Ooh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> just let just just let it sink in there, yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking that before, Raj. <laughs> yes, Raj will corrupt all of your Yes, your fragile little man. Your fragile little man. <laughs> Although, I have to be name. honest, when it comes down to the corrupting, I feel like you're far worse than me. What? 
Me? I don't know, chat, what do you think? Ugh, what? Hugging. <laughs> oh, she says hi. <laughs> hi, Lady Raptor. Hope you guys are having fun in the... Uh, Little naked time in the camper, oh, watching time. Twitch. Oh, you're in. The, did you take the camper? I saw the nice uh, oh, view yeah. you had up there with all the oh, yeah. evergreens. It looked great. All right, I'm gonna get some more wood for uh, for charcoal, so I can make a, so I can make some signs. What? Signs? <laughs> I did not fuck him with a puppet. Melvin just when I Melvin, it would it would have been three more seconds than it would have been, but <laughs> it, but it was you know, you're you're putting a lot of words in Melvin's mouth over here. I literally put all the words in Melvin's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> that is true. I just humped him a little. <laughs> <laughs> Can I unfucking hear you? I just humped him a little, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> <laughs> See? I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Who's the more corrupting here? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, can I not put this on? Uh, this does have to be on ground. <laughs> I feel like we do our corrupting in different ways. I would agree with that. Oh, this, I think it needs a bench. We need an outside bench, Herms. Oh, sure. Hermie visited the dock with you today. Was sitting there waiting for my back shots and blood draw. And there's a cart blocking the door out of the lab. I was like, Hermie, no, Hermie would not like this. It's true. It's true. I'm glad. Osha Hermie should always be with you for safety purposes. This has to be on ground, right? Ground or stone. Okay. So let's just level this out then over here, I suppose. You know, the old ground or stone. Well, I could just, uh, I could probably just do this, <laughs> right? Now say that in like a Kiwi accent to mention, dude. That's quite the dick you have there. <laughs> Are you enjoying my dick? In the summertime, I can have up to. Where'd you put the forge? I'm moving. I was gonna come and make some coal. Hang on, I'm in process here. It's How a am I supposed to put signs up? Ah! Now you just hang on here a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. 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 What was your adjective that you're gonna yeah. use there? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, are you, what, are you, what are you gonna what are say you there? Gonna say? What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Keep hoeing. That's all I have to say. I, I'm, I'm working on it, Herms. This is how this is how we pay for the food we cook. Hoeing gotta, ain't easy. I gotta keep hoeing. That's all I gotta do. All right. So, hoeing ain't easy. All right. Forge is going down. I want to start making a little platform for it, but I will have to get the stone out later. Oh God, what am I missing? How am I missing stone? How am I missing? Oh, was there stone over there laying on the ground? Probably. That's some my inventory. Okay, that's probably what happened to it. All right. Did you move the stone over? Yes. The second one from the left. I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Is fire spread on? <laughs> Why? You think this is too close? I'm hoping that it's not. Well, I guess suppose we're going to find out, aren't we? Wait. Come on. Please let me put this here. Why? 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 No, 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 no. Oh, God. Give me that. Give me that. Give me this right. Right. There, there it is. There's your kill. You happy now? Yes. Okay. Good. Very. Roses are red. Gaming is fun. I'm carrying too much to be able to run. It's full. It's full. <laughs> Let's hope the balls don't turn off again. My God. Most popular guy at the nudist colony? The guy who can carry two cups of coffee and a dozen donuts. <laughs> Oh, that's Larry, so. Larry. Oh, wait, is this one of those things that I can do, like, at post? Like, once you place it down, it's like, all right, you can now build the shit underneath it. Or is it still, like, mad at you if you do that? I knew this wedding, so you can always tell who the best man is. Thank you for the reset. Yo, Miranda for 38. Thank you so much. 38 months of sub, but longer with the laughs and weird times of what the heck did I walk into balls? Uh, that, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds about par for the course. It does sound. Thank you very much, Miranda. I, it looks like you can. 38. Oh, my gosh. Our longest is 90. 
90. 90. I don't feel rested anymore, Hermie. Oh, well, time to rest then. I'm out here building. Well, you can't I do I learned both. it from you the Amish. You can't build. Oh. 90. 90 Nine months. Zero. Is that there? I can't tell. Zoom in. Enhance. When I really want to know what your hoe prices are. My hoe prices are? Depends on the day and how desperate I am. I mean, isn't that standard hoe? Has it been a good day if I've had a lot of gentleman columns? There we go. I got nobody. So the answer to the question, by the way, in case anybody was wondering, is yes, you can 100% post floor underneath these things, but you have to put them down first. Can we stump with like the flint axe or do we need to wait till we get a better, bigger axe? Can we de-stump? I've been stumping for a while. Stumping ain't easy. Dude, you have 13 months. Yup. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been doing this like Twitch thingy um, for like a while or something. There we go. I think the right stumping angle. <laughs> I mean, you got, if you don't have the right stumping angle, what are you even doing? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. <laughs> so if I stand on this ground and like level it out here, it should be like fairly close to this, at least. It's one shot, kid. The game says I'm hungry. I know. I'm sure that it does. It also says I'm not rested. I know I'm out here working like sounds a man. Like, sounds like it sounds like it's time for dinner. I'm working like a man. Dinner dinner and a nap. Dinner and a nap. Yeah. I guess we should uh probably. Um all right, coals are gonna be on the far or your charcoal is in the far right chest right now. Far right. Maybe we'll put the metals in there with it. Eating in this game actually doesn't make that much of a difference until you're like in combat. Then it's like your health and your stamina bar. So if I'm not like jumping around and running around like a crazy person, um, it's actually not too terrible. Let's make a little loft here. How are you feeling about the loft? Sure. Smoky little loft. Oh, little bunk beds. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're gonna we're gonna be sailors, Hermie. We're doing the sailor bunk beds okay. again. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna be able to get out of the beds. I don't know, but we'll find out. We'll see what happens. We'll like get out of bed on the roof. Like, what the fuck was I drinking last night? Jesus Christ. Uh, then we'll do uh, that. This is not realistic Minecraft because the, the combat in this game is very good. Uh, yeah. Minecraft's combat is not the best. I could definitely see where you would make the comparison. Like there's building options and there's different things like that. So yeah, in survival game where you build a base out of wood. Right. But this would be, I would say closer to more other survival games. I would definitely call this a far superior combat game than Minecraft. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of like boss runs and uh, different progressions in that regard. So, uh, yeah. You're stuck in a world of block games. Hey, we still do that stuff all the time too. We love playing a little Minecraftery. Uh, hello. Can I, uh... Yeah, that build cam is probably an amazing mod, isn't it? You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And I'm gonna do that and that. <laughs> this is our bunk beds chat. I'm totally making the beds here. <laughs> right, let's do it. Yes, we will. we're on the PTR for the new Mistlands update. We're not quite at it yet. Right, right, exactly. We haven't got to it yet. What do I need? I still need more wood. Why do I need more wood? I always need wood, Hermie. I just... uh, how do we uh, write on the sign? I think you just use. Oh. I think it's backwards. I think there's like three dots on it when it's like uh, a thing. Okay, I see it. Yeah, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. I made the same mistake yesterday. It's not super clear. Agreed. All right, now I will eat the foods. Time to go chop some trees and shit. Please it. Yep, got lots to grind copper and tin. We have a little bit of those to do. There we go. Pew. Wood. Stone. 
added deer trophy. Deer trophy. Get in my inventory. Oh, I'm gonna try to Cooperantian. This down. Poor deer? Really? Mm, I don't know. He seemed a little bit in pain. He was barking like a dog. Did you hear that? It was a, it was a like dog that. bark. It was a wolf wolf. Deers are supposed to make that nose. Love the swamp and hate it at the same time. Yeah, I can understand that. I feel like the swamp is like once you get that bow is when it, it, the game really starts feeling start feeling like more accomplished. That was my first acorn, chat. Your first acorn? These nuts. Dear, oh dear. Swamp's a lot of fun though. This game is genuinely really, really good. It, uh, it is really good. It's a it's a well done game, and I mean we've done a, a, a one or two early access games in our time. <laughs> one and or two. I'll two be honest. Early access survival games. This one is uh pretty damn good. Yeah. yeah. It's one of our favorites. I would say that. I'm gonna I'm gonna come out there and be bold and say it's one of our favorites. It's one of your favorites. Oh my god, Hermie, you do realize hmm. the mistake that has been made, right? Hmm. By this great... <laughs> See? Mistakes were made by him. You didn't even oh. know. Now, um, you made a giant cart path. Um, we could just make the boat. <laughs> go get it that way. Well, I'm just going to go see if I can find any tin. Are you Thor? Uh, I'm Thor without Titsun. <laughs> I'm Thor with Titsun. And she's Thor with Titsun. <laughs> Because uh, for the first time in this game since we played it, we are able to uh, make female characters. Which I know is important to a lot of people. If you chop that tree. I was aggressively chopping that tree. All right, I need to make like a stool or something so I can do this. Um, let's just build like, I don't know. I'm on the hunt. I'm after tin. There we go. Oh my god, it's like bunk beds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bunk beds. Oh my god, Hermie. So much fun. It's like a sleepover every day. I know, right? I'm gonna turn it this way though. Our tits and base is just gonna be the best. There we go. Gotta go claim this bad boy. Oh yeah. 69 the beds. Oh. Whoa. Oh shit, I don't like that. I don't like that, guys. That's that's not centered on the thing. It's not gonna work when uh, you know I you know, poke up through the bottom of the other bed. I don't know what you're talking about. I, it's so hard to tell. That's why build camera is so good, isn't it? Yep, yep, yeah. That's why I need that build camera, bud. So it, it's is it like there? I feel cold. Me too. God damn it! I can't tell, good guys. I need it to be centered. It's not going to work. There? What do you mean I missed a requirement? You, man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there we go. I think. All right, there we go. Uh, beds have been moved, so you may want to, you know, come on back now, yeah. You're missing hay? There's no hay for that one. Hey. What other comfort things do we have in here? Of course the Christmas tree. We gotta get that out the of Christmas here. Christmas tree and the deer rug, bro. And the deer rug's gotta go. And I think there's a torch. There's like a stool or something that does it too, right? Alright, we gotta get a Christmas tree here. I'm cold. It's official. La -dee -dee. Comfort five, and then we'll and then we'll rug underneath the uh, beds. There we go, perfect. Now we're at comfort six. We'll be six. so comfortable, dude. It is comfy AF in here. Um, let's do a little bit of this. Are you coming back? Yeah. Eventually, I'm just gonna put these fiery things right next to their hay beds. Head beds. It'll hay be beds. fine. Is fire spread on? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I miss Candace. Candy's nuts. Candace, Candy's nuts fit in your mouth. Oh my God. We've heard it once or twice. Uh. How far out are you? Are you very, very, very far? Oh uh, yeah. 
I mean, you have a map, right? I do, but you press do I feel and like see looking at it? I mean, I mean, how important is it? Have you ever, have you ever, you like dragons? Um, yeah, well, yeah, you once you once you once you stream for a while, you anticipate the jokes, whether it's whether it's true or not. I it mean, might not be what you intended, but no, no, ninety percent of people. That and Herbie just likes to think about these nuts. That's it. See? Wow. <laughs> that deer did not move fast enough. That one? Yeah, I could definitely see the build cam thing being a big, uh, big bonus. It's a lovely barn, guys. It's a lovely barn. It is a lovely barn. Actually, it is very lovely. It is actually game. lovely. Yeah, you're right. All right, what do we require for the boat? The deers literally go woof, woof, woof. You got an ad, you're mad? Uh. Well, with without our control, uh, it's just kind of what it is right now. That's the way Twitch goes. Um, but if you are really inclined to get ads, if you are subbed to the channel, you will never get ads as long as we have control over it. How much of the chest did you move over so don't far? Don't run. Don't run. I moved stone and wood. Okay. So we don't really have a box for trophies and shit yet. Not yet. All right. Which but one? I'm back. You want to sleep? Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab your top bunk over there. Grab my top. Top. My top with tits in. You're not, uh, not a Twitch watch? That's fine. You don't oh, have to. Just sit back and enjoy the thing. We have and everything. This looks... You know what it reminds me of? Huh. Those pod hotels they have in Japan. Yes, it's exactly like <laughs> that. Now, let's see where we uh, pop out at. Let's find out. You feel rested, comfort six. Hell yeah, man. I just dreamed about my own Viking funeral. I fell asleep underneath you and oh. woke up in your bed. What's going on here? What is going on here, Raj? How'd you get up here? Uh, I don't know. Somebody must have dragged me throughout over the night. Get your motor running. <laughs> Tell the dragon blow in. Wicked for adventure. All right, let's see here. What do we require for the actual boat? Don't run. Don't run. Why am I not running? Uh, maybe I want to run. Oh, shoot six more members of them. Oh, you're talking about... We quote Dog, that all the time. Dogma? Yeah, we say don't run all... Like, to the point where I forget it comes from a movie and it, that it's not just, like, something we say. Uh, exactly. Like, that happens a lot. People are like, oh, you're quoting blah, blah, blah. I'm like, was I? It was just something we say. All right, so we need 10 deer hide, 30 fine wood, 20 resin, and 80 bronze nails. Okay, let's see how many we can make. Wait, did I make bronze nails already? I thought I had some. I did, I had 10. Boom, boom, boom. Whee! Let's see if we have enough for this. Let me go get some more shit. Uh, bronze nails, 20. You watched that the other week? We actually have it on DVD. And, uh. In case you didn't know how old we were. Pretty, it's pretty rare. Actually, that is a really rare one because they Can't get it anymore. Right, because they there's a seagull in the base. Get it! It's gonna teach us how to play Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna teach us how to play Overwatch well. So oh, that means we have to be sober. Yeah, I don't play sober watch. Yeah, uh, no. Not so much on that. You called these deer droppings. <laughs> Is it just well, all the all the other stuff? It's leather and deer heads and antlers. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. What else do we require for this? It is uh, twenty resin and thirty fine wood. The finest wood. What requirement am I missing? Hey, hey no old jokes. Now we're the same age. <laughs> fair. We own DVDs. We own DVDs. Okay. DVDs nuts. We require chicken. Why do we require chicken? Chicken wings later. There will actually be IRL chicken. 
chicken good. wings. There's gonna, it's a real life cooking stream tonight, guys. We are gonna be uh, here. Here, here's your little preview. Literally. Sounds like these, dude. Boom! Kitchen is prepped and ready. We're gonna be cooking tonight. Peace, dude. Movie Dogma. Dogma. There was something with like the distribution of the publisher that they you couldn't get the DVD anymore. I think it. Something like that. I think it. Harvey Weinstein, the most liked man in movies. Oh, he's a lovely um, fella. That he's guy. a lovely fella. Yeah. He, I think he like owns the right, personally. Yeah, and then he was like, "Fuck you, you can't." This is the best movie of all time. Nobody else is gonna watch it. You hate bees. You have the DVD too. Hold on to that dimension, dude. It is definitely valuable. Oh. Yeah, Raj doesn't like bees in real life either. I don't either. I stepped on a beehive when I was like... A wee lad. A wee lad, and they stung me like 150 times. <gasps> no, thank you. I am good. I'm thinking the far right chests are going to be the ones I'm going to put the medals in, just because it makes the most sense because they're the closest to the, the, the cooking bits. Makes sense to me. You know? Yeah. All right, I just, gotta, I just, I just grabbed all the trophies. Okay. <laughs> Tear droppings. That's funny. I think I'm gonna go. Do you have any plans? Like no, I have no plans at all. I need a place for seeds and stuff. And we could do another row on top of this as well. So, in fact, we that's will enough, do. That's enough of a plan for me. All right, I'll do this here. This will be seeds then. No, Raj is not allergic to bee stings. No, 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 not allergic. No. Thank and God. They were wasps, right? They were wasps. They were like mud wasps. It would have killed me if I was. No lie. I gotta get some resin here. I'm making a boat. All right, where's the where's the where's the seeds? Did you make a chest? I made. I put seeds in one of the chests. Okay. Because I just grabbed more seeds that I'll add to. All right, cool. Should we put flint in with the stones or not? No, I think we're already filled up on that, so might as okay. well. I'm putting like other plants in with the seeds, like thistles and. OMG, Hermy, are you ready for adventure? Oh, boating times. Hells yeah. Yeah, so what? Raj has a little bee phobia. I do. As a result. But uh, I'm also the dad, so uh, I'm also the guy that has to take care of the bees, so, you know, there's like a double edge, sort of, you know. I've taken care of some bees, so you, you didn't. No, have you to. have, you have. I'm not, uh, I'm not denying that, but there's also, you know. The kids do come to you and say, hey. Dad, dude. there's a big bee's nest over here. Can take care of it. Yeah. All right. I am uh, ready to fucking roll to get some copper, dude. You ready? All right. Yeah. Copper um, and tin. Do we have food? Do you have food? I have food. Oh, uh, we don't have the. We have to defeat the dragon to get the. Uh, Motor? To get the good shit, right? What Let me mean? repair my shit real quick. Yeah, the wind direction thing. I love that. Can you though. get shitting with the antler pickaxe? You guys know what I mean. <laughs> oh, what do we get shitting from? The things that crack into the middle of the fucking... We mine their backs. Something tells me no. It's a yes? Okay, yes. never mind. I'm ready Dumping when you DVDs. are. Are they plentiful on Amazon? Are they really? Hold fast. Although, I don't know how much, uh, how like, much ocean we, have? we actually have here. <laughs> yeah. It looks pretty rivery. I know. Don't forget us, home. This is not a bay. Please tell me this isn't a bay. Oh, shit. It might be a bay. It looks like it could be a little bit of water up here. I'm hoping that it goes around. That's Black Forest right here to the right. Well? I think it goes around, yep. Shark! There's far worse than sharks in this game, friends. He therpent. Oh no. That's not a good sign. Oh my god. Wow. 
I just made a circle, didn't it? What? All right, then. Back rooms? Maybe. 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 That's the name of a horse I used to own, ma'am. <laughs> Last week, um, we went to... We went to Beach House with Raj's parents, and uh, we had to stop at my work. I work in a chemistry lab. We had to stop there because uh, I had to turn all my instruments on. And uh, they, both of our kids are like, yeah, th this this whole place is the back rooms, Mom. I'm like, yeah, it kind of is. Oh. Watch my back, Herbie. Your back just got hit by a rock your, twice. Your back just got punched twice. We might be able to make a channel through here. Yeah, I think so. It doesn't look like it's that far. Oh, shit. I thought it was the thing. What? What's the thing that gives us the comfort that it exists once in the world? Oh, the maypole? The maypole, yeah. Oh, dude, that'd be sweet to find a maypole. All right, Herms. Well, we're going to have to dig here, so. Where? We're going to make oh. a channel through here, so oh, okay. get ready. I'm ready. Are we like pickaxe digging? Yep. Okay. Wow, that kind of sucks. I don't think we want our base there. We're landlocked. Good thing we're badass Vikings. <laughs> we're gonna we need some songs while we dig our can Panama Canal. Oh, I guess that's a good good way to do it. If you're standing in here and you're not swimming, then we need to dig more. I'm swimming. I think it's maybe a little bit over here. Maybe. Oh, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Not right here. I'm not swimming here. You have here. to re-equip your pickaxe. It's a right, problem. right, right. Swimming, 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 swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Maybe like just that little shelf there. This will not be reflected on the map, so we <laughs> might want to mark this, I think. We have to do another one up there, huh? Fifth, yeah, we do. All right. I'm um, hoping that it's not too bad. Let's put it... Let's, what do we call it? Whatever this is. A Chanel. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to call it whatever this uh, thing is. Channel cha 2. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to call it Channel 1, bro. All right. Back in the boat. Let's hope we can make this happen. Boop. Back it up. Panama. Panama. Chanel number five. 50 miles. In, oh, the Erie Canal. Mm -hmm. 15 miles on the Erie Canal, yes. Play back rooms. Wait, it's go, an go. actual game? Yeah, it's a, it, yeah. I didn't know that. So know it's, a, it's a Markiplier fave. Oh, it sounds like something that, yeah. Okay. To be fair, if our kids were quoting it, that's not too surprising. Not at all. Do you know who the, uh, oh my god, it was like the top three um, video stars of 2022? Are you guys ready for it? Number one was Mark Wire. Okay, that's a little, that's a little it's shallow. A little, it's a little scrapey. It'll number two and number three, who do you think they were? Raj and Hermie. Almost. We were four and five. Oh, okay. Um, but guess who beat us out? Who? Our boys. The boys made it. The Watcher boys? Yeah. Oh, Shane and, Shane and Ryan. Shane and Ryan, oh, yeah. Oh, yay. That makes me really happy. Deep mining for a waterway. We're two Vikings with pickaxes. We did our best. Do so you think another one up here to the left? Uh, Yeah, I think we can get through here. This this village may become our new home, to be um, honest with you. That look. I, it's, not, it's not complete. Yeah, well, we'll just complete it, you know? Oh, I got you. Oh, it looks like we do have some... Okay. Okay, it looks like we don't have too much to do, actually. Exactly. Okay. Okay, good. Well, let's get started.
15 miles on the Erie Canal. Sketch and Looty, yeah. All of our friends. Now, we're the real we're the real fame, but we're the ones that 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 you know the the uh the internet survey didn't need to mention. Everybody knows that. Uh, they, everybody just knows, uh, you know, Raj, Hermie, Sketch, Ludi. Everybody just knows us. So they were just like, yeah, yeah, we don't have to mention them. They're, 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 they're aware. Everybody's aware of those guys. Is it more like breakout stars or? I don't know what the survey was. It's just okay. what whatever this thing said, it was like, it was numbered one, two, three. Four. Hell, it could have been a damn meme as far as I know. I don't fucking know. Well, but I, hope I it, still liked it anyway. I love it. I love the Watcher guys. They worked. They worked really hard and took a lot of risks, and I think it paid off for them. They make great content. Exactly, Mundo. If you guys haven't checked out the Watcher YouTube channel, they're they're great. Puppet history, Ghost Files. Uh mm -hmm. Is their show still co called Ghost Files? I can't remember if that's the new or the old show. I'm sorry. Okay, it's Ghost Files, yeah. Okay. I need to eat some foods real quick. This does kind of suck. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Usually you're like in the water and you're in the water. Oh, it's horrible. I think there might be a time over this weekend that we're probably going to move from over there to this place right here. <laughs> we might be moving. Yep, this looks like the open ocean here for sure. Dear God. I can get through here. I believe in myself, Arms. I know. I, I believe in you too. I believe in us. I believe in us. We, we're Minecrafters. We've taken villagers through worse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You make a good point We've there. We've done this to move villagers. All right, I'm going to put a workbench inside one of these things so we can actually repair our fucking pickaxes. That's pickaxes. a great idea. I love how... um. I love how when you, like, are swimming, you, you unequip your pickaxe, and then, like, you just play punchies in the water. You, like, do your own water aerobics. That's fun. I don't feel rested anymore. Oh, I know. Rip Big Barn. I know, right? It's already abandoned. Yep. You got, a little, you got a friend. Location, location, location. I'm going to play punchies with him. I'm going to skill up my fisticuff skill. Get back here. Cowards! Oh my god. What about this strat? Check this, check this strat out, right? What, what strat you got? So the strat is this. Uh, we're going to put workbenches right next to this so we can repair the boat as we pass. Yes. That's, that's a <laughs> wonderful idea, actually. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. All right. They're arsonist dimension, dude. Calm down. Wow. I don't know. You're, you're ready to, like, burn it down. Scarlet Airlock Scarlet Air was you? here. I know. I think we're, I think we're uh, your disguise today. <laughs> Scarlet Air. 15 miles on the Valheim Canal. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of Ixram. I hear something. I don't know. Whatever. A yo, something ho, and a bottle of Ike's here. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mule, and his name is Screaming Goats. <laughs> 15 miles in Thor something something. I can officially say no more Taco Bell. It affected you once. Oh, now you shit. know. You know, I didn't abandon Taco Bell because it affected me. It still has not to this day. But the last time we got tacos, they tasted like cardboard. Legit. They were bad. We have literally been eating better, to be fair. Like, and better that, quality. That's true. Yep, that's exactly and so, true. like, when you go back on quality, you're like, yeah, I really noticed that yep. now. And it's rare. Like, we've been doing pretty good with cooking at home and everything. So. Mm hmm. And uh, by the way, cooking stream tonight, everybody. And you get to see us cooking at home. Thank you for the tips so far. That does uh, really greatly appreciate it. It actually helps uh, us purchase the food for streams yeah, like it this. Helps, yep, it helps with the food and it helps, you know, with Christmas coming up and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we can knock out that sub goal today as well. That'd be fantastic, guys. It we would be wonderful. Greatly, a full, you know, just a solid week. You know what I'm saying? Steakhouses. I am. Um, oh, yeah, baby. I'm down for the steakhouse. Don't don't you misunderstand me, but I'm getting However, a little spoiled by smoking my own meats. Um, I I remember the one day, Rosh was like, "I'm gonna make you a steak," and he smoked it and reverse seared it, and I've never tasted anything so delicious in my life. So yeah, it's we're getting spoiled. Oh shit! 
Where did you put the? Uh, it's inside workbench? the. It's inside that little oh, house yeah, there because, because you have it has to. Have the, a roof. Yep. Precisely. I was thinking ahead. You were totally thinking ahead. Wings for you tomorrow. Wings for us tonight. Uh, we're gonna do fairly spicy. All right, so I'm gonna give you the head up, heads up warning, Herms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are gonna be hitting the spice that you tapped out on. Uh, oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I let me finish, mixed in with a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's not gonna be like pure okay. fucking burn your I've been burn sick. your tits off. I don't know if I want like super spicy today. Well, can we, can you can make your own damn sauce. That's fine. I will. Huh. Huh. We, I feel like we're scraping over here still. It's uh, the Swing. water keeps going like up and up and down, so it's hard to tell. I agree. You, you like the garlic parmesan ones? Uh, I'll show you. Oh what we yeah. Do. Uh, stick around. I'll show you how, actually how we do it. Um, we're gonna be doing the air fry method today. Um, which is uh, if I if I had the time in the way, I have like a a, a method that I use where I do overnight marinade. Plus smoked, plus uh, like like fast seared. And yeah, because smoking does not give a nice. Does it crisp skin. it up? Yeah. yeah. Dude, can you stop shooting arrows at us? All right, let's see if we air can make. Air fryer, Mecca's favorite way to cook. Mecca loves the air fryer. Don't mm -hmm. let him fool you. Oh yeah, he's he's like. Uh, yeah, he will. He, he will naysay about the air fryer all day long, but the truth is, is he'd be like, "But I use it every day." You see. Oh no, that's exactly right. But if you can get the crisp and the flavor, then that's ideal, isn't it? And that's exactly what. There's but, a video. But that one time, Raj, that you made that reverse seared steak for me after smoking it, I was mm. like, oh, 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 oh. I full Homer Simpsoned it, like Homer Simpson thinking about a donut. That's how I went. How's the boat looking here, friends? This is gonna be fucking tight. I know. Here, let's go over here and... I feel like there's high tide and low tide, and I feel like there's a little bit of beach over here that we need to get rid of. I also feel like there's a little bit of beach right here that I need to get rid of. You know, the one that the boat's on? Yeah, I gotta get rid oh. of this. Let's not be too hasty. Tomorrow morning, steak for breakfast. I love steak for breakfast. Steak and eggs, yes. I feel like the tide goes really fast around here. I'm going to try to make it through. You can do it, Raj! Believe! You, you ever try to it. stuff oh. a marshmallow in the coin slot of a parking meter? <laughs> I think we might be through. Did you make it? Nope. Hold on. The the ladder's on the other side. I know. I'm stopping here. I'm stopping here. Okay, but we're okay. through. We're through. We're through. Get on. Get, if you on, run out of stamina, swim, you die. Swim for it. I'm cutting it hard. Got there it. it is. All right, cool. Oh my god, I can't see shit. No, it's really fucking dark and it was a dark and stormy night. Right. Jesus. I don't have resin for a torch or wood actually. Gonna see if I could torch our way. Rudolph with your torch so bright. <laughs> Won't you help stop us from dying tonight? Certainty of death! Small chance of success! What are we waiting for? Let's not be too hasty. Still, I think he's rather tasty. Inappropriate song for the moment. <laughs> Get your Viking hats on, all right? Oh my god, it is so foggy. I can't see shit. Ocean. That was like a foreboding sound. It's like epic. You you might you might die of serpent or something. No, I think we'll be all right. Okay. Now it cleared up a little bit. Thank God. Is anyone going to watch Violent Night? I kind of want to see it because I think it's going to be ridiculous. And I like David Harbour. It's it's the one, Raj, I think I told you about it when uh, when David Harbour plays like a uh, like a murderous Santa Claus. Oh. Oh, I, was I thought you were guys talking about that, that um, Winnie the Pooh thing. No, 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 no. I don't want to see that. 
<laughs> that looks terrible. It does look pretty bad. There's a serpent right there, guys. Right behind us. Serpent. Off the aft something something, right? It's port and starboard. <laughs> yeah, but aft is behind. You say aft. What about the mean one? The mean one is a parody of the Grinch. Does the Grinch need to be parodied? Only if you want to make money over Christmas. Uh, eh. Okay, fair, fair. Yo, port is left and starboard is right. We're nautical now, baby. Hey, Lost Sniper. A horror parody. Uh-oh. Not a horror parody, Raj. Those are the ones that you normally watch. Mm, true. Star Horse, Phantom Anus, and the like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wouldn't the Grinch parody make him nice? But in the real one, he gets nice at the end, right? It's the opposite. He starts off nice. He's slowly driven to madness, much like... Um, hard uh, to starboard. Take your eyes and gander up there towards the there's left, a, there's all right? A dungeon right there. Yeah, it's the, the troll hole that we already cleared. That's There's oh, that's literally the, death oh, points. Oh, I deleted all my death points. I didn't realize we were going this way. Okay, cool. I think there's some stuff here, though. So let's, uh... Oh, God. It is so fucking dark. So dark. I literally can't see the shore. We're, like, two feet from it. Yeah, it's... It's got to be, like, right there, right? Yeah, it's real close. Holy shit, I can't see anything. Chat, can you see it? I can. Um, stop about now. Or we just get out, right? Yeah, we just get out and stop it. Okay, I, I, oh, look, tin. Yeah, that's why I was here. We're here for tin and stuff. Well, oh my god, it is so fucking dark. Tin. That's why we're here. We need the tin and the copper. I found tin. I found tin over here too. Tin! Tin! Oh, something mad. This way. Oh, wait. Something really mad this way cometh. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I block you with the buckler this time? Fuck. I need help. Friendly fire's off, right? Nice. All right, cool. Yay. Teamwork. Meanwhile, back to mining. Get back to work. Get back to work. All right, break server. <laughs> Sadly, the boat, this boat can only hold, hold four sacks. Yeah. Why is it so dark? I don't know. Because it's nighttime, I guess? Probably because it's nighttime. Mark the boat location. Oh, look at Mecha being smart. Tell me you've lost a boat without telling me you lost the boat. <laughs> I went where? Playing Fog Simulator 20. We are. It's Actually, cool. yes. A little fog simulator. This is what our drive was like back from Jersey. Oh, uh, jo it was it was not. It was fun. like this. It was not a fun time. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'll just use this. Doot doot. Bert. Oh, there's copper right here. Fucking a. Oh, sweet. <laughs> nice. So, uh, oh my God, I'm walking here. Well, I'm mining here. I'm walking here. I could smell the copper from the ocean. <laughs> and the barking deers. You still hear You still hear it in the dark, don't you, Clarice? The barking of the deer. Stam. Something mad. He's uh, by me. I got it. I see him. Yeah. Oh my god, did you just two shot him? Nah, it was like a three hitter. But yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, more ink. I just Go did to two hell. shot him. Any more glowing eyes wanna bother us while we're trying to mine? 
Good. Fuck up. We are literally working over here. Gosh. Can it be daytime yet? My F is ready. You want to get F'd? Yeah. For sure. F me. Ah! Thank you. Thanks for the effing. You got it. This this stream, you could really dig this stream, you know? This is one of those streams you can, it's just all, you really just dig it, you know? Can you dig it? If you can do so, could you toss down um, a crafting bench? Sure. Uh-oh. You okay over there? Um. Wait, nope. Yep, they're at you. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shoot at the shaman. Teamwork, bro. Barely even needed. It's so good. And another ink, I think. Burp. I was just shot all over the place. That was a one-star gray dwarf. Oh, fucking nice. Isn't it awesome in this game when you start getting like... Oh. You got, oh, you're, you got a thing. I'm poisoned. Hang on, I'm coming. He's trying to heal himself. Hold on. Let's stop him from doing that. You know what? Uh, I, It turns out, I don't know. Another if, one. Ow. Hold on. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Uh-oh. I got a one star. All right. I'll try to drag, drag the shaman away then. Shit! Now I got a brute too! Run, 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 run! I'm running to the boat. I'm running to the boat. I got a brute on me. Okay, okay. I'm doing I can. I'm, I got a couple things here. I don't think he can hit me in the water. But my stand will run out soon. Alright. Keep firing, assholes! I would, but I'm out of stam. That's a good way to get rid of these guys. Jesus, I'm running out of stam. I'm cold and moist. Solved. Dead. Gone. Gone. Oh my god. It's still foggy. How is it still foggy? It's foggy weather. Foggy weather. Oh my god. Make the jump, you fat bat. Oh, make the jump, you fat bastard. All right, let me see if I can get some building. Storage open. All right, we're only putting copper and tin in here, okay? Yeah. Deal? Yeah. I already assumed that's what we were doing. All right, I think I got a little bit of stuff for a fire. So maybe that will clear the shit up a little bit, for God's sakes. Look at this. I don't even know. Maybe once oh, look the at sun that. comes out. The warmness that we have going on here. A little warm. <sighs> little, little warm, a lot of sap. I need a workbench before wood. Okay, noted. But I can do that post haste. Oh no! Started sliding down the hill. Been running up that road. Been running up that uh, road. Break time, it, you're right. It's not important. It's going to be more about cooking time. It is Friday night, so the kids don't have school tomorrow. Right. Uh, our daughter doesn't work, though. But All day, every day. She work all weekend. That she do. That she do. But, uh, so it's not important that we're, like, crucial on the break time, but, uh, it's more about, uh, how long it's going to take us to cook. Yeah. And, um... That's what we're, that's what we're concerned with. New. Yeah. She's like an adult or something, right? Blocked? Mom's blocked. <laughs> She's got to keep taking that X-Lax. It's finally cleared up around this joint. Look at this damn shit, man. Ah. Uh. A little full, a lot of rocks. I'm almost there. 
Gonna get some more wood. Ooh, there's some tin right here too. Look at this. This, is, this has been like. Uh, oh, now we can see. Oh, I can see. She falls down a well. Her eyes go cross-eyed. She gets kicked by a mule. Her eyes go back normal again. I don't, I don't know. know. Hey, gray dwarf. Don't you don't you aggro like a wuss? If you're gonna aggro, I know. Gonna aggro. Let's go. Make Where are you God going? Make it. Make a goddamn decision. Make it. If you're coming after me, come after me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. What is that in the water right there? It was oh, tin. Oh, it's something. It was regular tin ore. What did I just get? Did I just get fancy wood or something? You might have just did got Did I just get core wood? wood? Yeah, I think you get from I truth. Aggro. I don't want core wood right now. What the fuck to do? Okay, well, I mean, I got fancy wood, so now oh, I have that in my inventory. Fuck yeah, bud. No, all I want, I, I, I don't want that right now. Here comes another guy that doesn't aggro well. Come on. All right, well, where are you going? Are you, You're not going to our boat, you piece of shit, are you? Are you in the water and you're going to throw rocks at me? <laughs> Get up here. <laughs> Come on now. Get it. All right, fine. I'll just shoot him with an arrow. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Kill him. Oh, now you want... Where are you going, bud? Oh, my God. That was a horrible shot. Thank God we're cooking tonight. <laughs> <gasps> no. Bad. I punched the boat. Jesus Christ. Seriously. Well, this is why we're doing this stuff, so we can repair the thing, right? Sure. So if I do this and do the repair, I should be able to repair the boat from here, right? Oh, this is a really big. This nice. is probably a bigger roof than I needed, huh? Uh, a lot more. Yeah, you can use okay. two lean tos and be good to go. It's okay. Look at all those barking deer up there, everybody. Woof, woof. You know what? You know how you learn, Raj? Huh. By doing. By barking? Yes. Woof, woof, woof. He just wanted a quick tip. Actually, no. Oh, that's it. My pickaxe is now gone. Well, you better fix it in a moment. The station needs a roof. The station I'm needs a roof. <laughs> the station needs a roof. The station needs a roof. The station needs a roof. It's like a metal tune. It the does, stitch actually. The roof. The stitch under the roof. Ow, now I'm on fire. This is dangerous. Missed. Oh, we, we got some star boy here. We got a red dude. Star boy. Oh, they're really mad. Maybe shit. Get him. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell's going on at this point. Whoa! That was an incredible volley. Body, body. Get away from our boat. Now, is this up enough for the roof for me to repair my shit? Too far away. I'm too far away. I'm too far away. Workbench. Too exposed. Too exposed. Hold on, it's hold on. I'll, I'll give us some more roof. I'm eating as fast as I can. I know, I know, I know. I'm not good at this yet, and plus it's on a really awkward angle. Okay, let's try this way. Let's try this way. Too exposed. Too exposed. Oh my god, now I'm out of wood. Do you have any wood? Yes. Toss me. I gotcha. Hold on. You just put a roof down there? Yeah, little, I was just going to. Let's toss the little 45 right here. Like sure, sure. Mount. All right, now can we. Perfect. Too exposed. Too exposed. What? 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 Put another one. I don't think it's that. I think it's uh, going to be this bit, this bit. And it's gonna be this bit here. I think if we do that, it should be fine. Let's see. Yep. All right. Nope. 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 Wrong. I wrong. lied. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's called pressing the wrong button at the wrong time. <laughs> ha! Aha! I think we do one of those, maybe? Will that be enough? No. Yeah, right, so bow upgrade with the core wood. I know that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, oh, it said bow upgrade. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't right, worry. Here's where I do this. We're, it's, it's, uh, I, right, I, show, I, just, show, just show me how you do it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's 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 gonna take way so, more than it should. I know. All right. So basically, all I do is put like two walls down, like right here, like this. 
So it's right up against it. Okay, okay. And as long as it's not touching the ground, it seems like just a little lean-to on the top like this mm -hmm. is enough. All right. Nope. So, oh, no. What about... Let's put a wall inside here. Hold up. Like a half wall? Watch that. Hurry up. We're good. Good? So just, yeah. Usually, like, you know, just enough. Hey, on this old workbench. True. So what do we need? Um, bow upgrades. I'm excited about that. Oh, well, hell yeah. Bow upgrades are always nice. What is it, a better bow? Yeah, there's a, there's, a, you can, since we have some fine wood, we can use fine wood and core wood. Does that use for, like, upgrading our current bow or to make a new bow? I think you make a new bow. Okay. Then we definitely want to do that before the next battle. You bet your buns, because we're going to use a lot of bows. Today on this old workbench. <laughs> Now, what do we need for our gear? It was like five per, so it's like 15 each. Whee! Hey, Raj. Yeah. Damn. What's up? I just have a lot of core wood in my inventory. That's all. That's the that's the burden I'm. That's the burden I have, I suppose. I'll, I can get rid of some stone. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not bringing stone back. No, we, should, we, we shouldn't bring stone back. It's not. We smart. have a. We literally have a chest full it's of stone. It's not smart. Literally. Like yeet and like yeet again. Like that. All right, copper, copper. I could not possibly eat more honey. Bees, dude. Mining. I'm actually surprised at how little damage the boat had. It was only like a little sliver after really? all of that stuff. Yeah. We scraped it a bunch. Oh, yeah. We hit <laughs> it pretty hard. We went at that shit. You can try to roll any of the copper into the... That's resin. That's not copper at all. It looked, it looked oddly shiny. All right, Hermie... Equip your pickaxe before trying to mine. There we go. You can try <laughs> to mine with your hands. I mean, I punched it a little. It only works in stone block. O only if you're Minecraft Steve. Did something just hiss at me? What was that? I don't know. I, I heard it too. The fuck's hit hissing at me now? Is it the is it the fire? Is it fire sound? Maybe. It came from the direction of the fire. Like, it's all fun in games until we find a new mob that hisses at us. <laughs> True. Oh, we found a hissy one. The guy used old tools and methods. It was almost always followed by new Yankee workshop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, I know it's not this old house, but my brain always wants to say that. It was not this old house. I know exactly who you mean, too. Hey, Barbarian. Barbarian, hello, dude. Ah, that was the end of that. Fix it, dear Raji, dear Raj. Was Raji. it this old house? I don't think it was this old house, I don't think it was house, this though. old house. Now, there was, I know what you're talking about. There was a guy that used, like, old hand tools and shit. Like, old planers and all that other shit. It's fucking wild, actually. That sounds interesting for the sake of being interesting. That's usually what things are interesting for the sake yeah. of being. Yeah. But, like, not for practicality's purposes, though, really. No, 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 no. But it's, like, you know, skill, I guess. Yeah. That's copper right there. I can see it. You have to go through all that stone ah, to get it. Ah, I can't get it. What? You have you have too much? No, it's a swimming. Oh, that sucks. How do we do though? Uh, I got twenty-eight out of thirty in here right now. All right, I have nine copper in my inventory. Okay, so that puts us at like uh, what, fifteen? So we need we need sixty copper basically. Dang. Well, we can go up and down the coast a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll sink just enough for auto pickup. Yeah. <laughs> Yankee workshop? Yeah, I think it was. Was that it? Did you just throw wood, a rock at me? Woodwright shop. Oh. 
Right, I'm going in the opposite direction to see if I can find some tin on the coast. I'll go in the other direction to see if I can find some tin on the coast. What's that? What did I just get? Oh, tin. I found some tin over this way as well. Perfect. I just gotta uh, take care of this uh, this uh, this poop thrower here that likes to go anywhere but where he's like, I I'm aggroed. I'm gonna hit you as soon as you start mining. But right now, I'm not hitting you at all. Um. Okay, I just found a perch like on the ledge laying on the ground over here. Eh, uh, who now what? A fish. Just a just just a just, just like a laying normal on the ground. fish. Yeah, just a, per a perch laying on the ground. Pretty weird. More likely Copper and Hill. I don't know if that's true or not, actually. Vein mining conspiracy theory. Two star deer. Whoa. <laughs> not a very smart one. <laughs> well, that's not where it, that's not where his stars came in. His stars weren't in his smarts. <laughs> Lord knows he ain't got the smarts. Listen, I'm fabulous. I don't need to worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> we can check. We'll, we can dig in the dirt a little bit. Um, find the place last you time, hurt. last time that I did that, though, um, it's not always. It's not always, dude. And in fact, a lot of times it's not. When you find like that cleave portion of it. 14 out of 30. Ah, I love how when you, I love how you can parry their stone and it stuns them even though they're like 10 feet away from you. <laughs> Yo, there's some sunken ships down here, bro. What? Oh my God, get back here so I can parry you. There you go. Wait a minute. We've been here before. I found one of our old workbenches. <laughs> oh yeah, there's another copper deposit that way. Well, Skellies. was. <gasps> Whoa, there's so much better on the skellies. Oh, they have the mace? Uh-huh. Yeah. Maces are like made for anti-skelly weapons. Do -doop, do -doop. Do -doop, do -doop, do -doop. I'm coming up to beat you in the face. <laughs> Here we go. Hope you're ready. Wow, that was great. It did, it did wonderfully. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's arrows and it's a little bit of gold. Neat. Neat. Cool. All right. How are we looking on the tan? Uh, we're looking on the uh, 263 out of 300. Shit. I have one. I only found one tin. I found a lot. That's nice. I think it's because we were over here before. Oh, probably. 295, I gotta go back. Whee! Curse bloosh. Come on. Bam! 120.1! 97X. Bam! The future of rock and roll. Middle click and goodbye. Say goodnight. Ow. Hey, Sika, what's up, man? What up, man? Bang! I'm a coming on back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say when we go back, then it's going to be time to start cooking. What do you think? I think you're probably right. Uh, cause we got, we got some cooking to do. We do got some cooking to do. And we gotta, we gotta kind of switch the studios up and all that shit too, Yep, guys. yep, yep. Come um, on. Oh God. Oh God. This is, this is a problem. Our space is not great, huh? <laughs> oh, there might be a little bit under the hill. I'll, be, I'll, I'll dig a, I'll dig a minute. There's right. at least a piece right here. Yep. Right here. There is. There is definitely more here. Okay. I'll come over to where Raj is. Yep. All right. Yep, so, yep. okay. So the, the conspiracy theory is correct. Well, into the hill, yes. But I thought I caught the edge of where, like, the, the stuff was. But, yeah, there's a lot more right there. This time it was. The last two were not, though. 
Uh huh. Maybe don't throw rocks at the trees, you idiot. Idiot. Oh god damn it. Yeah. Get back here. Okay. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. We have a decent amount of stuff. Mm, I don't need that. I was digging in this hill. Finding more stuff. Kappa. Look at that. Can you dig it, Hermie? I think so, Rush. You know what? Hold on, let me let me just back up here. Can can I get a can I get a real quick effing? Just a quick squeezer. Thank you. <laughs> uh, squeezer. Oh, there's a whole squad of them here for us. Yeah, I'm gonna see how much I can dig before they, uh, you know. Stop you. Yeah. They have yet to like get in here. They're, they're throwing poop rocks, I think. It's not really bothering me that much. Oh, here we go. Nope. Stupid gray dwarfs, man. Solved. Did you get her? Yep. All right, are we out? Is this it? I think that might have been wait, it. Wait, 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 nope. Nope. There's a little bit more here. Oh shit. We may be able to do it. They are pretty derpy. They are They're pretty so derpy. derpy. Other than this game are not though. Oh no. I think it's fair. It is kind of like the first enemy that you approach. Yeah. And um Yeah, that enemy type for sure. Okay, yeah, this one does go deep. Um, but since it's the first enemy type that you approach, oh my, I only got one copper out of all of that. What the fuck? Yeah, I feel like the like, the actual copper yield was pretty low. Like we dug a lot for a few copper nuggets. The charger runaway is so annoying. Very much so. I got one copper ore. Whoops. I don't, I don't mean to dig up. I'd shelter for a sec. That was nice. I still only have one tin in my inventory. Maybe you're getting the copper because I don't have a spot for it. Maybe. Yeah. He'll drop the box on the ground, I think. Oh! Guess what I gotta do? Fix my picks. Too far. Five. That's kind of shitty. How are the large veins low yield? That makes no sense. I think you have to have a better pickaxe before you get better shit. That's my theory. I don't think that's a thing in this game. That was literally a copper vein that I got zero out of. I do. What's the point of like leveling up then? <laughs> I stunned you from afar. Going 28, man. Chill the hell out. Mow your damn lawn and sit the fuck down. Sounds like they're dead, hear me? Faster mining. I mean, faster mining is always good, right? Oh, it's not better yield? Okay. Yeah. That's why I wasn't. My, my fault. I, 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 did, I was pretty sure that it was not better yield. You were correct. All right. Let's see. Um, Here, I'll add my. I'll add my. Uh, we need 18 yields. more. To be uh, fully armored. Yeah. I feel cold. Wait, is this copper right here? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Where? Like, just up the hill a little bit. There's a whole other vein. Oh, how about that? Well, that's convenient. Yeah, we just need to get the... Um... Let me stand in the fire to dry off. I think that's how it works. I'm dry again. Oh, stop, maybe. Oh, my God. Oh, for God's sakes. What's up, Gear? Gear, what up, dude? What's Me. wrong with night mining? You got a problem with night mining? We're Vikings. If you're a Viking and you care about night mining, are you really even a Viking? Oh, you got your shirt. Shaman. Nice, random gear. Awesome. Shaman behind you. Okay. Oh. 
Not shaman behind me. All right, throwing rocks down the hill. Hold up. Goodbye, rocks. Oh, and there's another shaman. Cool, cool. It's nighttime. That's when the monsters come out to play. They do? There's like a whole slew of things over there. I need to get some stam here. Oh, God. When you're a jet, you're a jet. All the way from your first throwing poop to your last. Giving up the resin. That didn't work. I tried. You'll never know what's going to work until you try it. A little funny in my head. <laughs> you worked twice at work and got compliments. Did you get a dirty work one? Nice. Uh, you were probably one of the very few. Um, they're, they are now discontinued. Uh, yes. But there will be some new merch dirty coming work. up soon. Dirty work was a limited time run. It was. Got a brute down here. All right, I'll, I'll come help. I should be okay if I get some stam. Hold on. All right. Ah, uh, he's got a he's got a helper. He's got friends. He's got friends. Oh shit! Oh shit! I got a shaman behind me. Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah, it's nighttime. It's like zombies, you know. You also have a one-star gray dwarf right here. I'm trying to get this guy who's healing him. But I'm stuck because there's a huge hole here for some reason. Oh, I can't get up there. I'm out of stamina because I'm trying to get up the hill. Thank you. I gotta run. I gotta run. I'm like dead. You dead? Yeah. Oh shit. At least it is walkable. Oh yeah, I thought it was walkable. We didn't go that far in the boat. Fuck you. But it's in the middle of the night. I might um, be dead too. Is this going to be a off-stream body recovery? Uh, maybe. Yeah, there's a two-star Grey Dwarf in there. Yeah, there's some... Some nasty uh, bits. There's a, whole, all, a bunch of them at once with a Brute and a Shaman healing him. I kept falling down and I was out of... Yeah, the problem was stand. more about the, the whole, you know, mm -hmm. the falling bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, Shaman's dead. Whee! I think I'm going to do body recovery off stream, though. Okay, that's it's fine. Gonna, it's just going to take too long to walk, and we don't want to be pressed for time when we're trying to cook. I know. You didn't even do the dirty work. <laughs> you didn't do hoeing? You didn't make your first hoe out of netherite? That's the real dirty oh, work. Oh, you fucker. <gasps> you shithead. You a Dude, I was like just going to jump in the boat and log out, uh -huh. right? I'm going to go up here and do it. Fuck it. What did he do? I uh, threw a rock at me and like knocked me like mid jump, <gasps> like a piece of shit, man. That's a that's a total piece of shit move. You don't waste diamonds on a hoe. I don't love them hoes. Are you a shaman as well? You are a shaman, aren't you? You're just the worst kind of person. Ah. Uh oh, that guy hurts hard. Ah, run! Uh oh, 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 go 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 go! You are wet. I noticed. <laughs> Good thing you're effed. Thanks, game. We're genuinely not that far from home, though. I know. That's what I think I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna run over there, and then we're gonna get our cooking started, guys, because that is the point of tonight's stream. We gotta do the cooking stream. The cooking stream's gotta happen. We're gonna. I'm gonna run over this way though. A bit. I could not possibly eat any more deer meat. Is that copper right there too? 
No, I think I saw that. I think I saw that rock on my trap. I think it's just a rock. It's just a rock? Yeah. It's just a big rock that looks like copper. They have those to throw you off, you know. I might as well grab the thistles on the way back. Because yeah. I have that thing called inventory space, and I'm like, what? That's also just a rock. Are you trying to de -aggro? Yeah, yeah. So we don't have like, a big pack of them like there, and then we'll do it during the daytime, you know? Yeah. That's, I think that's a, that's a good idea. Woo! Lots of deer, dudes. Who's excited for the cooking stream? Who's hungry? Grab a snack now. Now is the time. Now, Start making your own beef stroganoff. Now's the time to grab your snacks. Grab your snacks. I was trying to think of something that rhymes with snacks. Uh, uh, Jacks. Party packs. Party packs. Yeah, that's true. You have snacks prepared. Nice. Oh, nice. I'm starting. I'm, I'm starting to feel the the grumbling and the tumbling for the wings, baby. Uh, I really want some wings. Grab some snacks. Your party packs. Chanel two. Your reds and blacks. It's not great being cold. My ichthyr is almost down. Or are you just chilling? You're just like, yeah. I'm going to be on by No, I'm not the coming back during the night because I know it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Uh, Plus, I know sense. it's. I don't, I don't want the rest of the the stream to be body recovery and not cooking. We're going to be cooking. I'm getting smart. I know, that's what I'm saying. So I'd rather log out here than log out in the middle of nowhere. At least here I have some walls and a fire and a Christmas tree. I mean, it's gonna. It's good for your comfort levels, you know. That's what I'm saying. I'm sitting here. I'm resting. When it's daytime, I'll do a body recovery later on, after we make our delicious beef stroganoff and wings, which don't seem to go together, but they really do. Uh, no, I don't care. I know that that is an absolute <laughs> not like a thing that actually goes together, but I care dish. zero. Yeah, we were we're really hungry for wings. It's happening. The wings are happening. They're half a wing. Half a wing. You have snacks. Guys, does anybody else have snacks? Like, what are the stream snacks that you're going to be consuming while we're cooking? Mm. Let us know. I, wa I want to know what, what you guys are going to be munching on. Flappening. The flappening is flappening. That guy hit me for point two. Can you come out here and kill these things that are following me? Never mind, I can. Uh, Fuck you! I'm naked. <laughs> it's a neck and a boar, dude. You'd have been fine. I got him. No, it's cool. Well, since I just ate dinner, probably not for stream. Okay. Well, if you're if you're currently hungry, <laughs> grab a snack. If you have just eaten, then you're probably okay. Grab a beverage, Mecca. <gasps> there you go. Grab grab a, a what? It, it doesn't have to be an adult beverage. Grab a beverage. It doesn't have to be an adult beverage. Raj is home. Come I sit. I made it. Come sit with me. We'll be comfortable. Now I'm more comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna rub my butt in the rug. Oh please, <laughs> please rub your butt. I just, I just vacuumed that deer rug, dude. Nice symbol. Thanks. I need me one of those. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get that copper thing. I like how we sit exactly the same. We do. Well, chat. Now we're gonna be switching over to cooking. Yeah. So I uh, hope you guys are excited, and uh, we're going to be doing beef stroganoff and wings tonight. Uh, we are currently at, we will be keeping tallies. It's still going to count throughout the night. We currently owe you guys seven chance cubes on <gasps> Monday. Seven chance cubes on Monday. So appreciate that. Uh, let's go ahead and log out. Yep. I, I'm not going to quit the game because I still want to do body recovery. Oh, I'm going to quit the game out now. Okay. For, for Yeah, I'm going to do that thing. Okay. And then, yes, we're trying to still hit the sub goal tonight, guys. So if you do that have this type of support, it would be fantastic. It would be super awesome. All right, we're going to pop on a little pretzel rocks, guys. And you got to bear with us a moment. Let's just double check one thing real quick before we go and switch over to that. I want to make sure that we have our, our um, mobile mics ready. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test those real quick to make sure that you guys can hear us. And then we're going to go swap everything over. Sounds great. A little bit of pretzel rocks. And one for Herms. One for Hermes. One for the Rajipu. A 
Check, 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 I didn't hold the button check, for check. long enough. This is actually yours, too. Well, Jesus. I didn't hold the button for long enough. No, you didn't. I didn't. Late lunch sushi Saturday is the plan. Oh, nice. Are check, you making check, it? Check. Nice. Check, All right. check, 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 check. Let me tuck my, <laughs> tuck my microphone. Okay, before we do, uh, before we go, like, switching it over, though, here we go, guys. So we're going to go silent, and then we're going to talk, and we'll see if you guys can hear us. You guys ready? Check, 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 check. Check, 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 I can hear us. Uh, check, one, two, check, check, check. Three, uh, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Mm, Beautiful. Mm, 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 All right, guys, we're going to take a quick little break. Mm, 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 mm. While we get everything prepared and we should be good to go. That's right. All right, BRB in a bit.
right, chat. You can hear us? Everybody can hear us? Can you hear us now? Uh, can you hear us now as I loudly get the cutting board out? It's loud. It is loud. Can you hear us, everybody? How about now? Check one, two. Here we are. Yep. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I believe that's the one we want to be on here. Alrighty. Alright. Do, 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 Like as far from his mic. Well, let's find out what the hell can feel like. The Raj is far away! Raj is far away. Check the labs. I'll retrieve the wings in the meantime. Check this real quick. Check, 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 check. One, two. Uh, yeah, that is actually not great. Um, hold on a sec, because I have to be like there. It's the kitchen stadium. It is. You guys can hear me though. The kitchen stadium. Uh, check one, two, check, 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 check. Did the settings get weird? I think so, yeah. Oh, no. So, well, it wouldn't be. Everything else worked too well, you know? Let's find the big meat knife. Finding the big meat knife. It's in the back. We don't use them very often. All right, hold on, Harms. Okay. I'm holding. I'm just getting ready. All right, is that a, that should be a little bit better, but Hermes is going to be really hot now, right? Yeah, it is. I can probably move mine away from my face. That'd probably be good. How's that, chat? Is that better? Okay, let's see if we can put you somewhere else. Oh, there's some noise. I'm holding my microphone in the hand. <laughs> yeah, Where can like I this. Put you? How about now? I, I, I mean, I can hear it. I can monitor it. That should be better, though. I don't know where to put mine. Shit! Sorry, guys. <laughs> You in front of the speakers? Yeah, that's one of the problems. Mm. All right, we should be good now. Good? Everybody good? I can awkwardly clip it to my sweatshirt. Let's try to awkwardly clip it to my sweatshirt so it's further away. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, that's what I use for the wings all the time. You no, no, no me. Are you doing the wings? I can. Okay. Five each. I'm going to get the camera set up okay. and the lights and everything. Okay. You're going to butcher the wings? I'll butcher the wings. Butcher it! Alright. Alright, that should be good though, Chad. I hope fully so. Feed me, not feedback. <laughs> Sorry. It happens while we're doing this sort of we're thing. We're testing. We should be able to hear the... Um... I'm going to rinse my hands up real quick. Yeah. Okay, washy washy. Got a all clean towels for the cooking stream. Clean towels. <laughs> look, look at my. Uh, Your lav mic is. Uh, my, it's just like pinned to my boob. Yeah. <laughs> boob pinned. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Are we good? Are we good, chat? All right, let me see this actual recipe. All right, look at the recipe. I'm going to start, I'm going to start chopping wings. Yeah. All right, so math. <laughs> five, cut up five wings. Ten total. Cut up five wings. <laughs> All right. All right, directions for use. Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Is what? that for is that for the noodles? That's for the noodles. Okay. Season That's the easy. beef with one tablespoon of salt and generous amounts of freshly ground black pepper. Heat the vegetable oil in a large skillet over medium high heat. Add the beef and cook and untouched till starting to brown. Okay. Is there really only half a cup of like, uh, one and a half cups? No, two cups of beef broth. 
Yeah, I think it's good that you got the big box. Yeah. Big box of broth. Is this on? Yeah, it is on. Okay. These things on? How about now? Now with nipple clamp. Exactly. <laughs> Now I kind of got the um, I got the ingredients of two different um, things, mm -hmm. so I don't think all the ingredients that I got this calls for, but I want to try it anyway. Okay. All right, chat. Hey guys, who, those who have made beef stroganoff, I know that you guys, a lot of you said this week it, it's going to be happening. Uh, that you guys did this this week. Um, in terms of. What I got here is I got the parsley, thyme, and chives. Parsley, thyme, and chives. And is this is this the uh, not this week, but you have? Does that sound like the right spices? The right spices. One tablespoon is chopped chives plus more for serving says this one calls for I, I think this one doesn't call for the parsley but I think I think we'll do about the, I'll do like maybe even even amounts of that and the time I guess like a tablespoon hey Rush yeah do we want to break these down and then put them in a bag if you're gonna just do it, then do it, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I already have all this stuff out. I already might as well, right? Yeah. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, chat. So while Hervey's doing that, I'm gonna get the wings that we are gonna cook tonight, starting into the pressure cooker. These aren't gonna take very long. It's just slightly off can. Uh, but it's the Ninja Foodie. Ninja Foodie pressure cooker. Yeah, I'll even give you guys a little, um, what's going on over here. Come so it's, it's this over here. The Ninja Foodie. There it is. So don't start with me trying to find the joint. There it is. Sometimes I can do it first try, sometimes not. Uh, and I'm going to pressure cook the wings for um, six minutes. Maybe a little less, actually. A little less? Yep. Why? Because they're not frozen. I would do that oh, from frozen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Down here. making my hand cold. Mm -hmm. Chilly hands. So I made this uh, custom stuff here, guys. It's in a cayenne pepper thing, but this is a my wing rub. Rub it. So uh, it's a combination of uh, cayenne pepper, mustard seeds, or mustard powder, garlic. Um, what else is in here? But this wing rub is bang and good, guys. Like bang and good. Would highly recommend. So salt, pepper, garlic, uh, mustard. Mustard powder. Right, dry mustard. And all that we're gonna do for it is I'm gonna be um, just doing a little bit of this for the for the actual cook. They're gonna go in a bag, and I'm just gonna sprinkle like this. Ooh. Come on, joint, work with me. Wangs, dude! You know it, Pam <laughs> Smithy, you know it. Wangs! I think I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of SPG. Salt, pepper, garlic, friends. <laughs> Doing the MSG? <laughs> nah, not for this one. Okay, cold hand, cold hand. Warm up the hand. Ah, cold chickeny hand. <laughs> Turn on the heat. Just kidding. All right, are these the ten? Am I though? These are the ten. Careful, because the blade's right there. Yeah. No. And I'm just gonna put them in the bag, and we're, we're just shake it up. That's all. Distribute the rub. Mm-hmm. You gonna rub them? Mm-hmm. And uh, we're actually gonna cook these a little bit slowly because I kind of want them to be the last 10 minutes on the flip fry. 
to kind of co coincide with the other dish. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Oh, I think so too, Hermes. So how many people in chat, how many of you guys uh, really enjoy the cooking streams? Like watching us make some foods. A little Friday night action. <laughs> you do? Currency type, Squiddy, Kobe, Mecca. Hell yeah, guys. Awesome. Well, it wouldn't be fun if you guys didn't like it. That wouldn't be fun at all. Exactly. Warming up the hands. I'm assuming we didn't empty the dishwasher, right? Um, yes, Correct. we did. Where's the thingy at? Perfect, thank you. You're asking me for, for the rack? Yes. I've, I've, I've delivered you the rack. <laughs> I would eat your takeout anytime. <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism. It really does. <laughs> Oh, Raj, I'd eat your takeout any day. <laughs> know what I'm saying? So that's what these kind of like look out. They get to like this sort of color. Gotta season them up good. And that's going in before the pressure cook. Actually, you can probably see on this cam, right? You guys can see there. What's going down over here, y'all? So you don't use the cleaver to, to bust your wings apart? Oh, oh, oh. What's up? You don't use the cleaver? Nope. What do you use? I use a regular butcher knife because um, I'm getting down to, you don't need it if you, if you get the joints right. Yeah, I agree. I need it, but I'm not like, I'm not great. So I need a little help from the cleaver. And I'm okay with that. If I did this every day, I'd be good at it because I usually figure it out like half the wings in. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I forget about it next time I do wings. Height. It works. All right, so there's uh, there's our 10 flavored wings that we're going to be starting with. And like I said, we're going to be pressure cooking these right behind you. Mm -hmm. Whoa, did we get gifted subs? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Northlight. Northlight. Yo, five gifted subs. Yes, Northlight, you're amazing. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate that. Enjoy a little cleaver dance. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you so much for that support. We couldn't do this without you guys. Cleaver dance. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a little scared. A little scared of the cleaver dance. Yeah, it not, should be. We're not doing it at anybody, okay? Hey, Carter Shaw, what's up? Hey, hey. You thought it was cleavage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I don't know where no, we're... No, we don't have cleavage because my lav mic's pinned to my boob. All right. We can store those for another time. Our kitchen sucks for this for two people. Oh, yes it does. Because uh, Hermie's standing exactly where I need to go for every up point of the operation. Yes. Because <laughs> it's the only point of operation we have. All right, I'm, I will move mm -hmm. as soon as they put these chickens in, in this bag. I, I want to wash that after the chicken. Oh, for sure, the for sure, absolutely. Next bit. Yes, yes, we should definitely wash it off anytime it touches chicken. Mm-hmm. Whoa! So. Who did hey, that? that was Northlight again to Carter Shaw. Thank you so much, Car. Uh, uh, enjoy it, Carter Shaw. Thank you very much, <laughs> Northlight. Really Northlight, appreciate that. Northlight, thank you so much. We really appreciate that support. And you get a chicken dance. <laughs> chicken dance for subs. Heck yeah, bud. Okay. All right. I need to wash my hands as well. Yep. So if you hand me that. Like that? I'll wash it, I'll wash it off. Here's a meat. I know we need other things too, so. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get these wings started. Uh, we for our our beef today, we're doing an inside skirt steak. Uh, I hope that's going to be okay Ooh, for everybody. Skirt. It still counted. It did count. All right, so Ninja Foodie, here's the operational points we're doing here. Gonna be hitting them up with the. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do actually? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So I don't have to wash my hands while I'm doing this. 
smart. Look at you thinking ahead. And we're just gonna place them in here. And this is, a, I put like a cup of water in so we can pressure cook them. We have done this operation before, to be fair. I Hold was... your skirt up for, way, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, hey. hey, this is getting, uh, that's there's, a different stream. There's meat under the skirt. <laughs> meat under the skirt, you say? That's a different stream. <laughs> That's a specific kind of rule 34, Two, I believe. Four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Raj. Ten. I try to get everything right, but there's always a production issue of some sort that needs to be solved. <laughs> um, That's life, isn't it? It is kind of life. My fingers are tingly. Okay. They warm back up. So now I should be good because this is, uh, I didn't touch the chicken. But then we're gonna go ahead and grab our Ninja Foodie top, like this. I'm gonna pop it on for pressure cook on high for, we'll do four minutes. Would you like this uh, cutting board, sir? I would love this cutting board, I know Mom. we need an onion, too. So we need a bunch of stuff, actually. Um, here's an onion. Nice yellow onion. Things that we need to prep. Yeah, onion to cut. Here, onion. Onion. I grab this. Did you grab your coffee? No. Would you like it? So I'm gonna go get mine. You were looking for the pool and hot tub section. The hot tub. I'm sorry, killed. Indeed. <laughs> I don't know where you've been, but I see you've won first prize. Guys, we're looking for the pool section of Twitch. This is a different kind of meat stream, everybody. This is one that if uh, we were going to do a Christmas gift that I think that um, like people were asking about Amazon things. Amazon knives. A really good um, like butchering knife would be what I would like. I don't know which one I would like to get. I think that's the thing. You have to really know unless there's somebody else that really knows. I'm going to grab my uh, our coffees and um, I'll get the mushrooms out and washed. Ah, okay, cool. Gotta have the coffee. All right, let's get the butchery of this going. So let's get you over mm how. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Zoom me on up in there. I'll show you a little bit of that action right there. That should be good. Let's bring you over here, chat. Hello. Oh, your coffee's like, well, there's a little, there's a couple dwibbles you can have. I would love them. I know, you can have them. I'm gonna pull the meat out of the sheath, everyone. Are you excited? <laughs> mm, unwrap it, baby. Your brother got a really nice $130 knife for Christmas last year. I I don't know what what's a good knife like because there's moments where I'm like this could be better. I know names. These are really good, I think, for like general use. They are. But but as much butchering as you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Do I have right, a tampon on this guy doing? Got a little pad on the bottom there. Um. This says eight ounces of mushrooms. So let's see how many mushrooms we have. Cause we have a variety. Today I learned you guys, we had fresh shiitake mushrooms at our grocery store. Yeah, grown in the state too. Yep. Okay, so this is the, each of these, oh wait, this is three and a half ounces. So if we use all of the shiitakes and half of the white mushrooms, um, that'll be enough mushrooms. Does that sound okay to you? Uh, yeah. But these are holes, so we'll have to, um, Tier two oh, who did that? Whoa! Scarlet Air! Tier two! Apparently, you can't sacrifice a child because they interrupted your life work. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> if that happened, we might need some story time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing just uh, as a butcher thing is because we this is not going to be cooked for very long. I am getting off all the silver skin that's underneath here. And this is exactly where like a really sharp knife would come in yeah, extreme handy. For sure. And I don't want big fatty pieces. It's going to be mostly meat. But I chose this because uh, all the recipes kind of call for uh, a anything that would be good in a stir fry would be good in this is basically what they said. That's, that sort of steak is pretty flavorful too. This is, yeah, flank steak is. Um, I will say, City Builder, if you can send us a link 
to that person that you're talking about that makes amazing knives on TikTok or YouTube or whatever. That'd mm -hmm. be great. But let me wash these shiitakes. I need to try one of these. Like raw. But the shiitakes? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a fresh one. Yeah, I know. They're always like the dried out ones. Yeah. You always have to reconstitute them. Well, I need to try one too. We need to, we need to try this. we do. Yes, we need we to try them. We do. <laughs> Who makes the shiitakes? Shiitake. All right. $170. That's going to be probably good enough. It's, I'm not going to go insane with the butchering of this. This is a little bit more. I'm actually thinking about doing it this way. And um, I'm going to save that bit for like a stir fry. Okay. I'll see if I can find a, something to put it in. Let's put it in a bag. Okay. All right. I'm passing you shrooms that need to get cut. Uh, not yet, please. Um. You need a space for them. I'm not. Or you can put them there, I guess. It's the staging area. So this will be like uh, just enough for like maybe a stir fry afterwards, yeah. something like that. We gotta pop that in the fridge. The was the Wustoff knives? Was, knives? Wustoff? Wustoff? I've heard of Henkel's. Z -Z -Z -Z. They're supposed to be good. Henkel's? Henkel's. And we're going to be doing these fairly thin, guys. Let me know when um, you're ready to try shiitake. Because I washed those off, too. Are we doing all the shiitakes that were in there? Yeah, well, here's the thing. It says eight ounces of mushrooms. Yeah. There were three and a half ounces of shiitakes. Okay. And eight ounces of regular. So I figured we'd use all the shiitakes and then half of the the white buttons. Okay. Does that work? I'm down with that. All right. Fresh Pennsylvania mushrooms, the best kind. They are very good. Our steaks, our, our steaks, Chief export. And for those who don't like mushrooms, it's a uh, it's a definitely different vibe when you get them from the state that they grow in, versus like the can oh, shipped for everywhere. Sure. Like 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 peaches from Georgia, right? Or apples from upstate New York. Yep. Well, I could definitely see how like even a little bit too long, and then all of a sudden there's like a super rubbery erasery kind of vibe mm -hmm. to mushrooms, whereas some other things will will last a little bit better. Or weed from Cali. Weed from Humboldt County? <laughs> or weed from Cali, baby. This is not too fatty. There's a decent marbling on there, so it's not too bad there. Mm -hmm. So I think this will work out well. Looks good. I just like red meat, though, so, you know. I mean, when uh, when we are cooking with cow, I'm like, you know what? I can't really, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> that, sounds like a, that sounds like a show. Cooking with cow. Cow shows up and you're like, what's my job? Well, <laughs> you're not going to like this. <laughs> Listen, Moo Lissa. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly weed is crap. Your family had apple orchards and vineyards in upstate New York? When we were up there, oh, God, we yeah. had local apple cider and it was the best thing ever. It was some of the best cider I've ever had in my so life. For real. So good. Kelly is crap. <sighs> yeah, the Amish have been growing weed for centuries. It's true. All right, then I'm just going to give this one a, a big, quick slice down the middle through all of this. And I think that's going to be good for our meats. Yum. And I think I'm just going to bowl this up and we're going to hit it with a little uh, salt and pepper. Delicious. Cooking with cow. We do have a kitchen knife sharpener. I don't know how good it is. I use it all the time. Raj uses it all the time. That's good. We'll have a good use out of it. It's a useful item. It's 
quality item. We're up to pressure, everybody. Woo. I can already smell them wings starting to hit in. Mm -hmm. Anybody else ever do this too? They um, instead of like just doing it, you hand it first. Just to make sure you have the right amount. So you don't give the overpour. I'm just gonna give that a quick stir around a bit. Cookie with dog is an Asian cookie. Is is it really? Yeah, I've heard of that actually. <laughs> is dog the person? <laughs> I have to assume dog's the person. Please tell me dog's the person. Now use the meat. Now the thing is, like when you cook with chicken, I'm like wash the thing immediately. Beef, I'm like, eh, it's all right. We're gonna end up putting it all in the same pot and cooking it, right? So. For this part, yeah. For the, the stroganoffs, I'll go in the same place. But I'm very much on the, uh, a little bit more cautious when it comes down to chicken. Oh, for sure. All right, so what am I cutting up now? What are we doing here? I think the onions and the mushrooms get cut up. Onions and mushrooms. Onions and mushrooms. According to the best beef stroganoff recipe, you cook the beef first and then yep. um, onions and then the mushrooms and then the garlic and then you do we do, the wait, broth and So we the do sauce. the meat and we pull the meat out, yes, right? Yes, correct. And then we cook the... Onion next? Yeah, onion next, uh, four to five minutes. Uh, then the mushrooms. Mushrooms in time, it says. Mushrooms in time. Five okay. to six minutes, and then garlic. And then the beef broth, bring to a boil. That was a terrible cut. I don't want to do it like that. I want to cut them like this, right? Yep. And then sprinkle flour, like a little bit of the broth instead of the wine. And then it says sprinkle flour over vegetables and stir until incorporated. Fold in the sour cream, Dijon, Worcestershire sauce, and pepper. And then we do the rest of the broth. Stir until smooth. Okay. And then you, you reduce the sauce and, um, oh, well, whoops. We're not eating that one. <laughs> And then you put the the beef and any accumulated juices from the bowl into the sauce and cook. Any accumulated juices from it the bowl. It literally says any accumulated juices. So if any juices accumulate, those go in too. What am I doing? I keep cutting them the wrong way. I'm not paying attention tonight, chat. Like I said, good. It's good. We're cooking and not baking, I guess, right? <laughs> Parsley. I've not cooked with this very much. I have not either. I know my mom used to use a shitload of dried parsley when I was a kid. Yeah. But uh, I haven't used to cook fresh parsley very much. That's a lot of mushrooms. Is this really what it calls for? Yeah. How much are we making? What's up, Rallius? Oh, look at Raj, touch all that meat. Mm hmm. All right. Um, well, this is relative to one pound of steak. That's one pound of steak. So, this is, yeah. I mean, I think mushrooms reduce a lot when you cook them, too. That's true. That so is true. That's probably part of it. Are we using the big cast iron for this? I, that's the next thing I wanted to think about. Um, a lot of it's like scrape the bottom off of the stuff. Yeah, do you want to use the wok? No. Okay, well, then we're going to use, we'll use the big cast iron then. All right, no. chat, Ooh. we're going to try shiitake mushrooms. For the first time, fresh. Um, let's see, make sure that I have this on the thing. First time fresh shiitake mushrooms. Hmm. What do you guys think? Fresh. It's fresh. It's jiggly still. It's jiggly. Here, let's see if we can get this on cam. I bet you could. Is it us? Are we here? 
<laughs> Cheers. Come closer to me. Okay, okay. Cheers. Cheers. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. Well. Oh, are we done on that already? We have pressure cooked. You can probably, like, leave those in there a bit, right? Yeah, I'm going to. Oh. Oh. No. Spitting at you. <laughs> you love these good balls? These guys? So, the shiitake's fresh are almost a little radishy. Like, they have that mushroom flavor, but they're almost a little, like... We're using all of these, right? Potent. Yeah. Okay. Like, you don't have to... I, I just I kind of want to eat another one of these. They're good. <laughs> well, cut it in half, and I'll eat the other one. Mmm. Mm. They are really tasty. They are really tasty. I like them a lot. Wow. They are... That's something. Hey, Quap's here. What's up? What up, Quap? How you doing? <laughs> Stuff your balls in my mouth. Oh my. Yes. Jordan's here too. Yeah, what's up, Jordan? Jordan, bring a plate. We got wings coming, bud. And some beef stroganoff. <laughs> that is that is Wait, a, quite a lot we're of We're not supposed to eat shiitake raw? Why? Why not? Are we gonna die? I'll be right there. Just for why is this this is bad for us? We're not supposed to eat this raw? Whoops. <laughs> what happens to us? Do we hallucinate? Help That'd be us. great. <laughs> Wait, are these the good shrooms? Are they the good shrooms? Yo, what up, uh, Dram Rabbit as well? Hey, How hey, you doing? Hey. It could cause a rash. We'll keep you updated. <laughs> Let's hope not. All right, uh, what else do I need to chop? Onion. I'm Onion. running out of space here. This is a lot of mushrooms. Our space is running out. Um. Do you want to get the little cutting board out for that? Nah, I'll be all right. Okay. It's all going in the same place, really. It is. So the onions are going to go in before the, because they need to caramelize, right? Fl yes. Flagellate dermatitis is often found on the chest, back, arms, and neck. This rash typically appears within 24 to 48 hours after eating undercooked shiitakes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mecca, you did try to stop us. Thank you. <laughs> we did not listen. Well, if we're rashy. <laughs> I guess we'll know why. <laughs> no, can last up to three weeks. Don't say shit like Bro, that. I can totally see us t like itching out tomorrow and being like, "What the fuck? What is no, wrong?" No, yeah, you're gonna psychosomatic now us now. <laughs> That's the problem. Hermie, I'll be honest. Hermie is super susceptible to psychosomatic. I have uh, no. When the kids are like sick, like to their stomachs, and I'm like, "Okay, is that just because I had to clean it up, or is it because I'm actually sick?" <laughs> right. Exactly. It gets in my head. Ripped to both of us. Oh, a snake's gonna come rub ointment on us. Oh, the, the week just got better. <laughs> you think that was That's strategic. not where it's itching, snake. <laughs> <laughs> you think that wasn't strategic. But here we are. No threaten no life threatening reactions, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I can't we come to work, I eat mushrooms. We, we like to prefer to not go to the ER trip, so if we can uh, avoid it. Yeah, it was. It, it wasn't like a large amount of shrooms. We just ate like little slices. So. Yeah, just slice a, a slice of shroom. Should be okay. It'd probably take a lot more than that, right? I would imagine. In theory. And we're about to put pile a lot of food on top of it, so it should like spread it out a little bit, right? It might even be one of those things that gets taken care of in the processing before it gets to this grocery store. It's from that or from cooking, though. I'm trying the French method. I don't know if it always works. This is like a pro chef method that they're really good at it. I'm not very good at it. I'm not very good at that either. I try, though. I try as well. All right. Uh, onions are done. <laughs> what's next? Onions done. Uh, what should be like on the first bits, I guess? Well, the first bit's cooking the meat, and then and then we cook the onions after we took the meat. So meat first. It's just like, there's nothing with the meat. It's just like meat. Just yep. put it in there, okay. Just meat. And then after that, we do a tablespoon of butter. 
Oh, uh, saute onions, basically. Yep. And then... Um, and then we add the mushrooms. Then two more tablespoons of butter, mushrooms, shiitakes, thyme, and cook. Thyme. How much thyme do we need? <laughs> oh, thyme and um, parsley, because that's, that's the one that's not included we, in the recipe. Oh, usually that's at the end. No, that's what the chives are. But chives and parsley are at the end. Well, this says... How much How much thyme is like... This says one tablespoon chopped. Well, how much? How many How many stems is, is one tablespoon? I don't know. Uh, garlic and cloves. Yeah, we have garlic as well. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We have one, one clove, clove of garlic. One clove of garlic. Mm -hmm. Um. Is it like? Do you think? You don't think a tablespoon is like? It's like a like a small handful. Of tablespoon. Yeah, that's probably right. If I could keep time in a sack. We have time in a sack. I guess I should just strip this stuff off, right? Yeah. We don't want stemmy shit. Nope. Anything that's like chewable, I'll keep around. Are we gonna use the beef tallow instead of the butter, you think? No, not for this part, no. No, 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 no. no. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Because there's a flavor that occurs with butter and onions that you're not gonna well, get out of that tallow. I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, we'll just have to, whoever picks Skinner Bees up from uh, from work tomorrow can pick up more butter. <laughs> yep. I think we have one stick of butter. I'm just trying to get out any of the like hard bits of stem and then scrape those off and any like that are kind of like not. Just do that. Butter as a side character did not feature in tonight's prep. Oh, you mean us making the butter? Mm -mm. I mean, we normally have butter sitting out so it's at like room temp. Oh yeah. Well, we're putting it in a hot pan, so. The pan is hot. Ooh, that is way better than regular. Oh my God. Have you ever had, like chopped up thyme? Yeah. It smells super good. Yeah. Thyme is deli- like, I love fresh thyme. And then uh, parsley. So about the same amount. So I'm thinking uh, something like this, something like that. I don't think, I think parsley is a pretty light flavor. I think so too. See this, this says you toss the noodles with uh, parsley and chives. Oh, does it? Yeah. The noodles with parsley and chives. And that's, this says half a cup. Half a cup? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think you use a lot of parsley because it's such a mild flavor. Well then let's separate this from the thyme then. Give me time. I mean, if you get a couple pieces of that in there, you know, you know we gotta, you know, you'll be all right. So this is for the noodles. That's what this recipe says. Okay, well, I got the ingredient list from that recipe, so I'll go ahead and All right. maintain it that way. That is a bit much. This, I don't know that it is. It calls for 10 ounces of noodles, so I mean, you could, I mean, again, parsley, you can probably like, just use less if you want. That could be all right, I mean, it's parsley. Oh, sorry, Cheyenne. <laughs> I said, give me time. Oh, it smells nice though. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta love the, the fragrance of like freshly chopped herbs. Fresh herbs. Herb, fresh herpes. Fresh herpes. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna call that good. What else do I need to prep here? Um, I think ch chives you use like kitchen scissors and just snip them. No, I got this. Chives, it says one tablespoon plus more for serving. So however much you want. <laughs> I'm trying to think about the order. So onions are gonna have to go in before the mushrooms. Yes. So it's it's meat first, then onions, and then oh, can you get the flour? I know that that's yeah, yeah. somewhere in there. I got here's the Dijon too, and the Worcestershire. Okay. How much Worcestershire does it call for? We can finish the old bottle. Chives. All right. Um, Does anybody just... call Worcestershire sauce the Lee and Perrins? <laughs> I've heard people call it that shit before. We only need a tablespoon. We might not have needed a whole new bottle. But... Oh, is that all we need? Yeah. So we can just finish up the old bottle. I'll put the new bottle in the pantry so we can maybe make room in the fridge.
Oh man, this is like, this pant smells so good. Just like the, this, these fresh herbs. They do smell very nice. It's like such a, it's such a, I don't know, vibe to the smell. Yeah, fresh herbs are where it's at. They weren't that expensive. These were pretty cheap. There's little packets that are here. They were like um, two for three bucks. Oh yeah, it's not bad at all. I mean, I guess they're just like, they're technically little weeds, huh? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Chives are like the onion grass that grows in the yard. Mm -hmm. Currency type calls it W sauce. Called it W sauce. I've heard people say washer sister sauce. The washer sister sauce. All right. I don't know if I got all these steps down, so. Like well, mentally. Shirk, where did you find Thai basil? We went to the Asian market to try oh, to I find it. I couldn't find Thai basil anywhere. Oh yeah, I, I want to try that. Doesn't have like a, a slight anise smell to it, like licorice. That's what I've heard. We have a lot of this left too. This is nice. Give me time. We'll have to cook with time. And this is these these will be good for all the Asian dishes we've been doing too. Chives. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we ready? I think we're ready. Do you want to get the big pan out since you're standing over there? Sure, we're doing big, big cast iron, right? Yep, not the biggest, the 12 inch. Is that all right? Yeah, he's all right. His seasoning's a little off, but we'll just put a bunch of butter in him, he'll be okay. Well, we're cooking straight meat in it with nothing else, so. Uh, I'm putting some butter in it or some oil or something. Oh yeah, I think we do oil, right? Is that the thing? Yeah, we do oil on it first. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, we doing what kind of oil are we doing? Here, I'm. I'm next to the peanut. You gonna do the peanut? Yep. All right. Let's. Uh, before we do this, you can just start heating that up. Yep. I think we're gonna move some camera stuff around and some light stuff around. All right. So you guys can get a nice view of the cooking process and the backsides of ourselves. You know. The backsides. It's not, that. it's not something that everybody gets to see very often. <laughs> We're usually sitting on them. It's true. It's true. All right. I'm putting it on six because the cast iron really holds the heat. So. But, I'm, but I'm medium. Every time they say high heat. If it says medium high. Then I would put it on like four. No. Not to cook meat. Yeah. But this is going to be a quick one. And then we put it right back in this bowl. Yep. So we make sure it gets cooked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time to move the light around, everybody, so we can be well lit. <laughs> We're lit all right. All right, that looks, that looks pretty good. I think everybody can see the, the cooking process that's going to occur here. Do we have to, I think I washed the spatula thing. Yes, I did. Yep. Yeah, we're almost towards the sun bill today too, guys. Thank you so much for that support. Yeah, we really appreciate it. It lets us do more cooking streams. It definitely does. <laughs> and we're carrying over any tips that come through to a Monday as well for Chance Cubes. If I get a rash, I swear to God. <laughs> do you feel itchy yet? Because I do. <laughs> you are the most psychosomatic I am. prone person. Look at that. I'm not, I'm not the most. Well, in our family, maybe. Maybe. Me! Here, chat. Take a quick, nice little gander. Let's make sure we get the good focus in there. Oh, the good, the good meat focus? Mm. Hey, Gipsa. Who did that? Lalo, man. Hey. Thank you very much. Lalo, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, do you guys like meat close-up oh Raj gives you meat close-up for a gift sub I'll give you like I'll give you a spatula dance strip spatula or cut dance. uh this is um flank steak we're doing flank steak or uh no underskirt skirt skirt steak skirt steak no nice meat what is this Arby's 
you did currency and we appreciate the hell out of that. Hell yeah, we definitely appreciate well, that. Show, show up on Monday so we can give you your chance cubes. All right, you ready? This is not gonna take long. No. Yeah, are you prepared? Yes. Brown me, baby. I'll brown you, all right. Oh, that's right, we're supposed to let this sit. On one side, it's not a stir fry. No, it's I'm, a, it's I'm just sear. spreading it out. I'm just yeah. spreading it out. Yeah. I'm not stir frying. I know this goes against everything we've been doing for the past few weeks. Mm, this one is a sear. The sizzle, the sizzle. Oh, it smells so good, Raj. What happens when you put, when you put the salt, pepper, garlic on meat and put heat but on heat? I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it too. Can we just flip it one time? One time, not even fully cooked. Yeah, I know. So we'll have to put it back in. We're trying to sear, so we would do a little bit of brown on it. Yep. And you also want oh, to it's already salted. Yeah, we already did it. I right, SPG. SPG. Do we have a clove of garlic? No, no, I need that. That's the one thing I didn't prep. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. I wish we had smell a streamer. This is the time you want. Wait, is there literally like one clove of garlic sitting here? There's one head. No. Oh, well that's yours. Okay, I'm flipping. So we don't want to overdo it. I'm flipping. That bowl's for the pull, for the pull out then. Yep. <laughs> That's for the pull out method? Mm-hmm. I don't know how that works, Raj. We have kids. I know. Too excitable. <laughs> we have one head of garlic and then one clove. We it calls for one clove. I was like, whoa. And this isn't like the normal thing that we over garlic. Yeah, well the other ones are like a garlic beef. So we, it's like, put in 17 heads of garlic. You cannot get have too much garlic in this situation. Ooh, loving the meat smell. Yep. Flip you. Flipping me or flipping you? Flipping me. 17 heads, double it. Yeah, pretty much, right? Yeah. Yeah, with with that beef garlic, you can't you can't have too much. I swear. If you thought you had enough garlic, you'd be wrong. This one clove, this is so easy. I know, right? It's not all the garlic in the world and then smash it into a paste. Yo, last night, you know what I got you know what I did guys? I did the Thai dish last night at four o'clock in the morning. No shit, check Twitter. I absolutely did it. Even though a lot of you guys are like, actually this is early morning. I'm like, I didn't sleep, so <laughs> it's <overnight>. late night. <laughs> Still overnight for me. So um but I ended up doing two heads of garlic in that. Like from the from the actual like crushing it. I did a full full meal. Push this around a little bit. Even heat's all all heat Heat's all around. around. Heat all around. All right. So our next move is mm. to put more butter and onions in, right? No, the meat comes off. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, yeah. I meant yeah. after that. Then it's butter and onions. I'm just Correct. making sure this is all browned on the outside. I think we needed a bit more heat. Yeah, you might be right. I'm but you know, do you know what's you know what's never bad? Cooking meat slower. I mean, no. And then you could sear it at the end. It's, Trust me, it works just well, fine. Well, not in a saucy can. This isn't a sauce. It's an oil. It's, well, now it is, but it's going to be in a sauce, is what I'm saying. No, I know. We want to get a sear, though. Well, it, it's... Keep it on for it? No, it's, it's on... It's brown. Like, we have to take it off now or it's going to be overcooked. Yeah. Okay. So, we wanted a higher... We probably two batches because it got... Like the moisture got trapped, kind of. Yeah. So we could have we could have seared it better, so we we'll know that for next time. But um, I can grab the butter if you want to get the onions in. Yeah, I'll do that. 
So I'm gonna leave it at six. The heat is gonna stay at six. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just wait. Garage four, Herm six. Um, yeah, I guess we could have gone a little higher on that. That needed, that needed a... I'm used to cooking meat at low and slow, my friends. Not hot and fast. Yep. All right, I got this part. Butter mm, in. Butter. Can't go wrong with butter and onions. Oh god, the butter smells so good. Butter, just butter in a pan, dude. All right, can, I'll do this, and if you want to figure out next steps, because I'm, I got this. I know, I'm already stirring. All right, all right, all right. I love this part. I do too. Uh, I like stirring, too. Okay. Four to five minutes. Um, oh, we're supposed to add some salt, too, so. A little bit. I'll put a little bit of salt. Okay. We'll, we'll follow the recipe as it says. So next is going to be the shrooms. I will ask if I can do, after we do the shrooms, um, and the first half cup of beef broth, I would like to take over when this, the, we start making the sauce. Sure. All right. I'm okay with that. Okay, cool. Let me get the box of broth. Box of broth. I don't see how this could come out bad, actually, with no, these ingredients. No, I don't think they can't. I feel like this one, honest to God, this is probably a pretty forgiving recipe. Showing off the ingredients, are we? Broth. Three pounds of broth. Are we done with this knife? I think we are. As long as you don't have to prep anything else. I don't, I don't think know that we so. do. Maybe. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it in the sink just because I don't want a random knife lying around. I don't trust myself. Fair. You guys know the smell that's coming out of this right now? This is butter and onions. Butter and onions and like a little bit of a leftover beef. Mm-hmm. Bruh. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna measure out half a cup of this. This calls for white wine, but we did not elect to go with a white wine. Yeah. We're gonna replace it with a, a, a little extra beef broth. Not that white wine wouldn't be good, but we don't drink wine. So it's not around the house. Yeah, so we're not gonna go out for a bottle of it just And that. it's not something that you could just grab in the grocery store. You have to go to the, the alcohol section of the of whatever it is to get it. It's not like you have to specifically go for that. Exactly. In the great state of Pennsylvania. And how much flour does it want then? I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking ahead. That's kind of that's kind of why I was gonna have you do that bit. Right. Yeah, I excel at that actually. That's so. why I was having you do that You're bit. You're amazing. I'll be over here. I can make this happen. You can make this happen. Let me know when that looks good, and we can we can eat the mushrooms in. Did mushrooms come with anything else? Or did we salt these at all? Yeah. We did. Okay. Yep. Now you got my chat. I have your chat. Okay. Now I can see the chat. Excellent. It was trippy when you moved to Texas and you had a giant ass aisle of yeah, exactly. We Something we definitely have. Did not start the noodle water yet. Nope, we didn't start that yet. It says when to do it. We have two other I things mean, that are going. Let me let me get the flour out and uh, mentally organize, and then I'll think about the noodles. No better smell than onions and garlic cooking up. Oh Dude, no! And butter, it's like it's a special, special smell. It is a it is a vibe. All right, Get the flour ready to go, and then after that, all right, then we'll I'll get the. Still not worth a liquor store trip. Exactly. You're getting you're picking up what we're putting down. 
It's not like we're gonna drink it anyway. Exactly, not not big wine drinkers. All right, so you wanna do the sauce bit? Yeah. Okay, then I'll, I'll probably just start the water or maybe uh, even... That's... Or even uh, do the wings too. Yep. Jordan, you still here, buddy? You wait till you see these wings are coming out here. You're gonna be like, what the? Or maybe he's on his way. Maybe that's it. Oh Started yeah, the he left. Right? <laughs> Jordan left already. <laughs> Jared went away. How big is that? Is a uh, yep. 12? That's 12. Uh, we have two 10s and a 15 that I can barely lift. Yeah, Hermie's like, don't use the 15. <laughs> like, I gave her, I gave her too much. That she, I gave her too much. She couldn't handle it, guys. <laughs> he, he she was like, oh my god. You should have seen the box that damn thing came in, though. He's, Raj got me, I asked for a 12-inch cast iron skillet for Christmas. I bought her a 15. I was like, if you can handle 12, she'd be getting 15. <laughs> it's like a flat iron grill. Bigger's got to be better, right? <laughs> well, Anna, to be fair, I... It, it's fine. I think the other one it's that was funny. ordered was on Amazon. This is probably good, by the way. Okay. So um, mushroom time, then. Yep. The, uh... The picture on Amazon, I think, was for like multiple types of cast irons, oh, and the other one—that was the happen. one that looked big, and the other one looked like a little teeny thing, you know. All right. Um. Oh, them onions look good. All right, so I'm gonna give you butter, and we're gonna put the shrooms and the thyme in. I just looked at the recipe. The okay. thyme comes in now too. Shrooms so. and thyme. All right. Get your scraper ready. I am scraping. All right, shrooms. Yep, shrooms. And the time. Mm -hmm. I can't not sing the time song. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to. All right, we're good. Okay. Not garlic yet? Nope, garlic comes in a little bit later. All right, the instructions say, Ooh! Until the mushrooms have released some liquid and are starting to crisp up five to six minutes. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Give me time. A pinch of uh, chives and garlic, you monster. Um, it is. We're following this recipe as is because we're not like Russian. We don't know how we don't have like have ancestral knowledge of how to make stroganoff. <laughs> I have the Slovak. Uh, Do you know how to make stroganoff? No. All right. This then. is why we're doing the recipe. That's what I'm saying. The first time that we do any recipe, and actually, guys, you know what I'd like to try? I was thinking about this today. I want to try British British dishes. But we have spices. <laughs> but that being said, after we do it the first time, like that first Thai mm -hmm. dish that we did, we nailed the recipe and it tasted really, really good. But I've already tweaked it, right? I have. Yeah. I, I have different methods that I use on it now. Oh yeah, mushrooms do reduce a lot, don't they? Yeah. They really, really do. Sorry, Skinner bees. I'm using all your sour cream. But I also say this: um, the difference. This is fresh thyme, freshly cut, and the, the aromatics are pretty good right now. A proper pudding and gravy. I was thinking about some like, like maybe three or four dishes, like beans on toast, that's the one, yeah. I haven't had that ever. People, and, and uh, the Brits, they're like, yeah, this is fantastic. Is it that it's fantastic, or is it because they, it's what they have? Like. That's the question. That's okay. what we got to try to figure out. Like, is it no, actually I like the, good? I like the idea of trying different things from different places. Yeah. So we can. We need the right beans, though, right? Do we need the the actual like Heinz beans with the blue? I, I yeah, thing? we can do that. Okay. How do you play FTB teams? Um, I can't remember. It's like you, there's like a command you run to like invite somebody, and then you're good to go after that. Yeah. There's. I feel like it's slash FTB teams. Something like that. Yeah. There's something like that. Yeah. They do like this chicken curry. It smells incredible. It's it's really smelling nice. It smells so good. So the next thing that's gonna happen is we garlic, and then we do our first half cup of broth. Garlic with the broth, huh? The no, garlic, and then we cook it for a minute, and then ah, the, I was gonna the say okay. browning garlic sounds yeah. Like it would be surprising if we didn't brown the garlic. And then and then we'll trade, and then we can start a pot of water for the yep yep for the noodles. Precisely. Um, I'm going to be using this one for sauce, so yeah, that's fine. maybe that one. 
I was looking for the other one that I have that's that size that I probably put in the dishwasher earlier. So yeah, we'll use the the black one. Okay. God, it smells really good. Beans and eggs. Uh, I mean. Oh, oh, that's what we want to do. That's what I want to do. What? A full English breakfast. Oh, okay. Beans, eggs, whatever kind of like all the weird sausages they have. And then you do the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And whatever else is in it, what else is in it? I don't know. I have like, never had like a full three, English. It's like three different kinds of sausages and then you have bacon. Beans are rice and Jesus Christ. All right, hit me with that garlic. Give me that garlic. All right. Blood Some bangers. Thing. I think we have to, if we're gonna do it 100%, you, ha you, have to, you have to try the blood pudding. Yep. All right, so cook that for one minute and then we'll switch. Bangers and mash is all you've heard for Britain. Blood pudding is non-kosher. That's since we're not observing Jews, it won't matter to us so much. No, we don't care. <laughs> is it supposed to be like? I don't Aren't care. Aren't cheeseburgers non-kosher as well? I eat a lot of cheeseburgers. Like a lot of cheeseburgers, man. Like a lot. I'm gonna whisk the uh, Worcestershire and the mustard together. It's the sauce Dude, time. You know what else? If we're doing if we're doing British food, Welsh rarebit. Which is that yummy like beer cheese spread that they put on things. Yes. Well, it's the difference of like that things shit. that we can get regularly versus like well, I can make that. Okay. But I mean that's like that's like how many things on the on our little tiny kitchen here. No, oh, I know. I was thinking well, just not, not all at once. Okay. Well, we could do it. We could do like a, a British series. We could try that out. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're always looking for recipes, so we could try this. All right. So I'm simmering this for like five uh, for like five minutes. All right. You think that's? That's definitely been a minute, and I okay. could see the garlic is brown. So yeah. Perfect. All right. Just stir that up. This says simmer till evaporated. So. Well, it's getting Five steamy minutes. up in oh, yeah. here, boys. Now we're gonna turn the heat down. All right, so this is where you want to take over. This is where I want to take over. Do you have your steps, or do you need help with your steps? Um, I don't. I just have. There's there's a lot of like. I know it's like this. There's to just that. a lot of steps. Yeah. Exactly. I wouldn't say I need help. Stuff intestines is that called a sausage? Yeah. <laughs> Grabbing yeah. out the water pan, boys. I'm gonna start some Grab water. Grab out the water pan. And I guess we should probably not use one of the burners for chat. Uh, the chat burners, you know. It's like a burner phone. A chat burner. Does this need five minutes? I don't think this needs five minutes. I think it was saying wine till evaporated. That's yeah. beef broth, which takes a lot less time. No, I don't think so. Oh, you might be right, actually, yeah. Wine is a certain percentage of alcohol. This is this was very warm though, and it wasn't very much liquid versus how much stuff we have. So that's the back one. Right? That's yep. the back one. I, <laughs> I fuck it up so much, guys. Well, ask the fan. <laughs> All right. While we're doing that too, I'm also going to take this out. I should probably still be on camera, and we can see um, the pressure cooked wings, which are actually like fully cooked. So now what I'm going to be doing is taking off out of the the pressure cooker here. And uh, just grabbing the wings out. We are, wish we had a better, bigger kitchen. I know. We, our, our kitchen isn't really set up for this, but we like to do it anyway, so it's oh, we, fun. We still cook. We still cook. All right. So this is wings and beef stroganoff, yes, yes. Wings and beef stroganoff, they don't go together, but we wanted to eat both of them. It, it's, not, it's not like a meal we found somewhere. <laughs> it was like, no, we want wings, so we're doing that. So this has been pressure cooked for four minutes. And now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna drain that. And then these are going back in. I'm gonna give them a quick flip. And what we're gonna be doing is hitting those with our air fryer now, 10 minutes aside. And then what we do on the wings, just a real quick spritz. Before a flip, just so they don't stick as much. All right, in my professional opinion, these are good. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this with two tablespoons of flour. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then I might just need you to pass me ingredients. Yep, I can do that. So this says flour until incorporated. And so this is gonna just thicken up our sauce ahead of time, I, I believe. And I've turned the heat down, but this cast iron skillet really holds on to heat. Uh, especially on an electric stove. Yep. That is one of the things that we wish we had. Well, it does on it does on gas too, but on gas you can turn it off right. in the middle, which is nice. Rosh, could you please hand me the sour cream when you get a chance? Yep, right now. Ink. Do you need a spatula? Uh, we'll 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 see. Hmm. Sour cream, fold in. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Maybe that, a spoon. That looks like a, that seems like a yes. Maybe a spoon of some type. I don't think I have a spatula small enough. Mm. You eat it in there for me? And um, whenever that is out, the next thing is the Worcestershire and mustard combo, which I put in another little bowl like this. Okay. I don't think we want this on the heat for too long. You're right. Worcestershire and mustard combo. Yep, that's in there. Going in? Yep, and a little bit of, um, it says a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper, so if you could just give me a shake of pepper, black pepper. Yep. I think, I, I thought I got out, but I might not. Ooh, that smells nice and mustardy. Yeah, it does. Pepper's right there, yep. Give me a little shake. How much did it say? It said a quarter teaspoon, so like like a very little bit. Good. Okay, cup and a half of beef broth. That cup has already had beef broth in it, the measuring cup right there. That's what I was gonna use. Yep. It has already a had beef broth in what? it, it's fine. Spritz a what? I'm going in right now. Yeah? Yep, one. And then a half. It says stir till smooth and calm down on the stirring, Hermie. Making a mess. All right, thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna stir this up until it's smooth before I take the heat back up because it says. Make a Sunday roast. Oh, yeah! <gasps> With Yorkshire puddings! Mm hmm. The only problem is that a Sunday roast is like a long cook. And I'm gonna just gonna, I'd rather just smoke a meat if we're doing it that way. You know? We could, um, yeah, yes, no, I agree with you. I'm trying to think, I'm, my brain just went, how, how do we do that? And that's where my brain was at. That's what I'm thinking of. All right, this looks delicious. Okay, we're gonna try to heat up a little bit on this. Says bring to a simmer and cook until the sauce is thickened about five minutes. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn it up to just under medium between four and five. Okay. Cause I don't want, especially with the sour cream and stuff in here, I don't want that to get too hot. I have no idea what goes into any of that stuff guys. So if you guys could give us the recipes and the recipe channels, that'd be fantastic. Yes, it would. What, what's chat suggest? I left my chat over there. <laughs> yeah. Um, just a uh, Yorkshire pudding. Um, I, Sunday roast, all this kind of stuff. Well, Sunday roast is like any meat, like you can do a roast chicken, you can do a, uh, like a beef roast or like a pork roast. I think it's like any sort of like roasted meat. And then I'll make like a gravy and Yorkshire puddings, which are a little bit like Dutch babies, like those big pancakes that I make in the cast iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, like- I got, I, I, I'm not, not knowing what it is, okay? okay? But it's like, I don't know how to like even begin the recipe. What is D-A-A-L? Dal, dal? What's that? I, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Wait, cheeseburgers are kosher? I thought it was the, the milk on top of the meat or something. Yeah, what it, yeah. Indian lentils. Indian lentils. I have lentils. I think we have some green lentils right now hmm. in, the, in the pantry. Something we could definitely give it a shot to. 
I want to make some lentils because I feel like Miniraj would like them. He really likes beans. We'll eat noodles with any kind of sauce on them besides mac and cheese, but I'll eat beans. Egg noodles! Egg noodles! Oh, by the way, brand name, 65 cents cheaper than the store brand. Okay. That's whatever, what I said. Whatever you say. That's what I said. Okay. All right, then. Uh, tikka masala is delicious, QB. Wait, is it that Indian food you guys had me try? Yeah, that was the, that was the... Oh, they're all delicious, but my God, they look disgusting. All <laughs> of them. Every piece of Indian food looks gross as shit. Sorry, I just knocked the stove cam. I don't think I knocked it out of place, but it might be a little wobbly. <laughs> okay. It's like... It basically... Alright, so we got it, we got it on like a takeout dish, right? So, you got tikka masala, and it's this, right? It comes in this, and it's like yellow. <laughs> it's like, put that on rice. I'm like, what? Wait, what? Oh, actually, the kids would love this because this has mushrooms and sour cream, and they both love this. So I know. They I, would, bet, I they bet they would, really like it, yeah. They probably would. There's got to be leftover. We're not going to finish this. No. Oops. There's no way. Absolutely not. This is, uh, this is also a dish that I, I thought about it, too, and I was like, this is going to last... Uh, well, it's good to reheat. Yeah, um, it'll be great to reheat. And so I was like, let's just do the full recipe. We'll just have a little bit of it for sure. The kids will love it for sure. Yeah. There's the all their ingredients like they love. Yeah, they would eat sour cream with a spoon. All right, I'm tossing a little bit of salt yep. in the uh, water. Yep. Um, You can just make one serving of those probably. I know. Okay. Hermie, this is uh, unfortunately one of those things that bothers Hermie's belly. Yeah. But she was like, can we do it on something else? And I was like, uh, I don't know. Because for me, egg noodles are almost an essential flavor component to a, to a stroganoff. You know? I would eat it on mashed potatoes. I mean, it sure it's fine on other things, too. Egg noodles. Yeah, well, it's the wheat flour. It's the American wheat flour that bothers my belly. Mm -hmm. Imported stuff all day. Uh, the ironic thing is we use good flour in this, but that one won't yep. bother her. Yep. Oh, they do. <laughs> Sour cream made from unpasteurized milk. Who has the time? It sounds amazing. Hmm. Egg noodles? Yeah, egg noodles. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, egg noodles have wheat flour. Yes, they do. Like, it's not just eggs, unfortunately. That would be fine. Let's look at the ingredients, shall we? I didn't know either. Now we've got a... Well, I mean... A, ingredients, semolina wheat, durum flour wheat, modified wheat starch, egg whites. That's there like the first four. First the four rest, is wheat. The rest of it's all vitamins to make up for the stuff they strip out. It might and not it, be that, that way worldwide. The flour's not the same worldwide. I agree with that too. You order spaghetti, you get egg noodles and ketchup. <laughs> this is about done. All we have to do is um, add the meat back in. Is it really? Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. So what this says is... Yeah. All you have to do is, all you have to was do is... It, was this saying that I put this in with the noodles? Yeah. But um, after but you also, drain them. Yeah, and put put butter and spices in with the noodles. Um, we could also add some more chives, like when we serve it, which I would like since I won't have any chives in my noodles. Okay. That okay. would be super. Perfect. Um, I just, sorry. Sorry, stove cam. I punched it again. All right. I have too many things. We have cameras and stuff in an already small kitchen. What so what makes do? egg noodles special if they're just regular, regular noodles don't use egg. Like pasta doesn't use egg unless it's like fresh, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like pasta out of the, like dried spaghetti doesn't have eggs in it. Oh. Well, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this beef back in for like a minute and any accumulated juices which there any was any accumulated juices 
Hey, can you uh, sink this real quick? Thank you, sir. We're just gonna stir this up, let it simmer for a little bit. Did you time these noodles? No, I never time noodles. Really? Yeah, ever. Really? Yeah, I just pick one out until and I try it, and if, oh. it, if it's soft and not al dente enough, then it's done. I maximize my kitchen time. Yeah, the stuff on the package is sometimes really wrong, too. I thought we'd been over that. Yeah, we might have. I don't remember what I had yesterday, Raj. Uh, that's a fair point. I don't remember your noodle habits. <laughs> Did you put the uh, BBQ in the... Um... Uh, pantry, because it's not open. Right. I'm trying to conserve fridge space. All right, where's my hot people's at? That's, I mean, all that is of, kind of all of the chat, all really. All of chat is hot people. Anybody who comes to watch us stream is hot people. All right, chat, here's what we're going to be doing today. You guys ready for the wing sauce? It's got about 10 more minutes on that. I guess we could have done that a little bit different. We're going to start off with a base Sorry. of sweet babarez BBQ. And then we're going with a spritz of, if anybody was here for the wing challenge, this is the sauce that made Hermie tap out. Ugh. Reaper punches you right in the face. This is the one that was like, Hermie's like, I'm done. Then, because I'm glutton for punishment, I'm adding a second right. Reaper sauce. Stroganoff is done. Stroganoff is done. Stroganoff's done, man. Second Reaper. And all of that is going to be done with, I'll show you how I do that too with the wings. Trying to get some of the stuff out of the way if I can. Yeah. Big Got a little huh? stickage, but we'll be okay here, chat. It was kind of done while it was, uh, we were in the middle of the other dish as well. So we're not professional, you know, line chefs. No, no. All right, that's that's a that's a wing halfway through. I'm gonna be flipping it. You guys can take a look real quick. It's a wing halfway through. Crispy, fresh, delicious. They're gonna get a little bit more crispy, and then we'll hit it up with the uh, with the sauces. I'll show you how I do that. Oh no! I, oh, I lost a little bit. Fuck. No. All right, that one kind of fell apart. Shit. No. We lost a wing, Herms. No. Ah, ah. Pretty much, yeah. Damn it, I didn't get enough spray on these. Oh well, they'll be all right. Master of Splits, how cold is it on the West Coast? It's it was well below freezing this morning on the East Coast. Yep. Pennsylvania, USA. Salam, lost sniper. Oh, <laughs> it's that time, huh? Time for a lost sniper to show back up. Is it? Yeah. Is it really that time? Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah, it is that before. time. Wow. Thirty-two freaking degrees here. Oh. We had a lot of chopping, I guess. Yeah, and we're hanging out too. And we're hanging out. Just throwing off. It's not necessarily about the speed of the dish. Oh no. This looks really good though. I know, it looks really good. Like good consistency, I think. Yeah, nice and creamy. Mm hmm The bouquet of flavor aromas coming off of there is amazing. Woo! Can't wait to try some of this. All right, so the last thing we have to do for the stroganoff is the this drain and then butter and Butter and this stuff. Yep, that stuff. And it's just a little bit for the final. Yeah. Are you are you gonna just save some of those for the yeah, final? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Exactly Perfect. what I'm gonna do. Alright, we'll put this in the fridge in the watch me go bad container part. Oh I've been using them. <laughs> You've been I have literally been yeah. like I'm not going been very good. I'm gonna make something out of that stuff. Yep, been very good. I am not wasteful with food anymore. Yes, we're Doing a lot better with that, you're right. I literally used every single one of the peppers that I bought too. 
Smoked paprika, yum as a topping. That's a thought. We're gonna try it as is, as far as the recipe goes, but Raj does smoke his own paprika and it's delicious. I actually do. Uh, check out the barbecue channel. This is gonna be coming up. This I do self-smoke this over hickory. Yep. And um, it is very, very, very it's good. good. It's good on almost everything. Yeah. I like it on, like, on cottage cheese, if you use a little everything bagel seasoning and some smoked paprika, yes. So I just do this, guys. I don't know how everybody else does it. I just, like, all right, you know, and then I'll be like, is it too al dente? Good. Drain it and go. We're good. Here. I've washed the colander after dinner, so. Use the colander to drain your noodles, hi ya. Oh, hottie. Yeah, steam is burning. Not so hot by yourself, monkey. All right, so what am I doing? I'm just tossing this with uh, butter. Can you hit me up with some, uh, I guess over here. What do you need? Just put uh, some butter in that pan. Sure. You betcha. This is torture too, because I love buttered egg noodles. All right, thank you. Yep. And then, going with that, and going with that. The rest of it's for the topping. And then just fresh herbs in there. Fresh herpes. Fresh herpes. And can you get me out the Wagyu beef tallow, please? You bet. Here is the wing recipe coming up here, guys. I'm just going to toss Ugh. this around a little bit. Toss it around. The Wagyu beef tallow. This stuff is fancy. It kind of makes all the beef, it makes all the meat better, though, doesn't it? Yeah. So the Wagyu beef tallow. Can I have my chat? Yes. away. Try to get some stuff put away as I can. I'm just tossing it with butter and, uh, and the spices. Chives, chives and uh, parsley. Parsley, right. Yep. Chives and parsley, that's all it is. All right, so that's the beef stroganoff done. Uh, that's, if it was for more people, we'd make more of the egg noodles, but Hermes not going to eat those, so that's one that we're not going to use. Now, for this one, which I do kind of say, it's one of my specialties. Wagyu beef tallow. If you've never seen this stuff, it is like, it, it's what you think it is. <laughs> it's beef tallow from Wagyu meat. Yep. I think you're more tired of the fresh herpes. All right. No, no, no. We, we, we say that because we're weird. No, it's because it's an old, it's an old meme. It, yeah, uh, it's like an old. It's a bad English translation on a, on a sign that was supposed to say fresh herbs, but it mm -hmm. said fresh herpes. Which so, is hilarious. A spoonful of Wagyu beef tallow. Just a, Hey, leave that out. I'm going to use that for my sauce too. Oh, right. You're going to make your own sauce. Yeah, I'm going to make my own sauce. Okay. I'm just going to use that with some red hot and maybe some garlic if I can find it. So, what we're gonna do with the uh, beef tallow is I'm gonna start with a pretty generous portion of sweet baby rays. It's only gonna be for five wings, and I just kind of made a portion for 10. Oops. I don't want your spicy sauce today. All right, well, this garlic powder is what it is. Now, I don't know if you guys could really get in here and see, but this stuff is like an oily, textury thing that happens once it all starts to melt together. It is super tasty. Now, the trick is, though, when you're making the sauce, keep stirring it. You don't want to burn it. Keep stirring the sauce. 
I'm gonna see helicopters. <laughs> Procter and Gamble spent millions to market Crisco in 1910. That shit'll kill you. It looks like Crisco. I'll give you that. It looks like that, but it's not. It's definitely not Crisco. No, it's, it's fat that the human body can use. It's Wagyu beef tallow. And you'll start to see like this texture change that happens with the sauce. I am never going back to using butter for my wing sauce ever again, as long as I have this available. Some beef tallow. Wasn't it not that expensive? No, 30 bucks for that thing and it's been like forever. Yeah, it's huge. All right, so now that the tallow and the uh, sauce is starting to get incorporated. It's starting to get some heat in this bad boy. I'm gonna smack it up with the garlic reaper. You sure you don't want this? Yeah. Uh, all right, then I'm gonna go a little hotter then. Go hotter. No, I'm just literally just gonna use Frank's Red Hot and some garlic, that's all I'm gonna do. And then reaper sauce number two, about half a bottle. Turn the heat down. I do sort of this like slightly off the heat stir because I don't want any of the sauce to burn. Now that's this isn't as hot as like the wings with just the sauce on it, but these are very edible and very good. Pass the plate of the stroganoff through the screen. If we could, we would. If we could share food with Chad, we totally would. I also realize these flavors don't really go together, but I don't care. Wings and stroganoff? Don't care. We'll still eat. 10 out of 10. How long did that take? What? Like, realistically, if we were not filming, not streaming. If we were not filming or streaming, that would have taken a lot less time. 45 minutes, maybe? 45? Yeah. There's a lot of steps. I think once we get the steps down... I think you could cheat a lot of it with, with uh, not cutting most of the stuff. Yeah. go with everything that's what Jordan says I think you're right I think you're right now let's see how uh let's give a little little taste on that I am keeping the heat on for for a reason and purpose when we're waiting on that I'm gonna go ahead and stir these make sure they're still juicy and buttery and go ahead and stir this up <laughs> Stroganoff. It's getting warm up in this joint now. Stroganoff. You know, it could be just be the uh, the fact that I'm smelling Reaper sauce. It could be it. All right, let's see how insane this is. Yep, that's pretty spicy. You got some uh, dabbles there in your mustache. I'm not, I'm not helping you with it. Kiss me, baby. <laughs> nope. All right, that's pretty spicy. I'm doing five in here, five in here. It's a spicy barbecue. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Oh no, they stuck again, mother. One, two, three, four, they're a little sticky. Four, and we'll just do another drum. Five, there we go. The rest are yours. Okay, I might, I might do mine off stream. Yeah, that's fine. Those look good. They smell evil. They are a little evil, yeah. It smells evil. So that's Barbecue Reaper. That's actually one of my favorite ways to do it, but with Wagyu beef tallow. Mm-hmm. Been craving that. All right, there you go, chat. 
Ooh, crispy wings. Oh, oh, focus, yeah. focus up. Let's get a good shot in there. Mm. Can we get a good shot without me dumping it? Good Let's question. See. Oh, the noodles look really nice with all the herbs in there. It's almost spicy enough for you. Almost. How do you know that? Scoville units, I'd probably put this around like, uh, you know where I'd put it? I'd put it right at edible heat, right? Like I could eat like 20 That's of subjective. them. subjective. I know it's subjective. Like I could eat a lot of them, like a full meal of it. Are we ready for taste tasting? All right, do you want to taste first or do you want to break and then get in that's, there? That's what I mean. I mean, break first and then get in there. Okay, so here's what has to happen now, guys. We have to move the entire studio over to the other room and we're going to get all of our dishes ready to go and we'll meet you back there in just a few minutes. I like ghost peppers. I mean, what, sure, you know. What he said. We'll be right back with the food eating.
All right, guys, we're back. We got everything moved over and set up. Now it's time for some noms. Who's hungry? <laughs> Who's hungry? I hope you're all hungry. The hungry, the hungry. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, I did me not measure that top camera, so. Uh, I gotcha, we'll see we, okay. We'll see what it looks like and I'm probably gonna turn it off anyway. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Whoosh. Whoosh. Right, let's just see what it looks like. But look at that. That looks very nice. Oh yeah, that's actually not bad. Oh yes, it's perfect. I'm great at this. Probably move it over just a tad. But um, there we go. Oh, wrong, wrong tad. <laughs> other tad. Other tad. Take me to the other tad. So we got the wings. We got the stroganoff, stroganoff. which we're definitely gonna be trying. Thanks for the welcome backs, guys. I'm ready to dig right in. What do you think? Sure. Are you a stable, Brio? Welcome back. Salam. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to try it out. Little egg noodles, a little bit of the beef. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. That's a good sauce. Mm hmm. That is a banging sauce. Mm hmm. Woo! Mm. All right, chat, you're up. <laughs> Can you cover your eyes a second, Hermie? Cover my eyes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it focuses? So it focuses. No faces here. Nobody here but us foods. Mmm. <laughs> Bite for chat. <laughs> oh. Bite for chat. Let me recover. Mmm. Mm. There you go. Everybody, big, big, big <laughs> bites. Big bites. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. This isn't fair. I'm hungry. Mm. Well, thanks for hanging out with. Obviously, your favorite streamers as they cook. <laughs> oh, mega lol. All right. <laughs> is, that Meg, is that you opening wide, Mecca? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now it's time to hit my spicy wings up. Mm. I'll be glad. Mm. This mm -hmm. sauce is so delicious. Mm. Honestly, mm. it needs a tiny bit of salt. That? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tiny bit of salt. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm. How are the wings? <laughs> Spicy. Mm hmm. Kind of a weird uh, cut. Like the bone split bring, a little. Can you bring the salt? I apologize if I screwed up cutting this. Good night, last sniper. We used some kosher, and we seasoned a couple times during the thing. But um, I use pink Himalayan. But we use, we generally use kosher for like cooking and smoking and all that stuff. But table salt, I, I use pink Himalayan of a grinder. You want the pink salt? Mm-hmm. Because it's pretty. It's pink. What's Redmond salt? This is ancient pink Himalayan Ooh. salt that expires in a year. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, chat, no meal would be complete without this. <laughs> Especially when you're sound. eating spicy hot wings. Oh my God, those are really kicking, actually. Oh no, Scarlet Air. <laughs> that might be uh, just hot enough for you. Cheers, chat, to another delicious week. Get out your brewskis. Mm. 
This is ah. really, really good. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to savor those for a minute. Those are pretty kicking though. <laughs> Even that first one that I hit was that, that's, that shit is pretty spicy. When I finally make it out there for a visit, do you want me to do a spicy food challenge with you? Sure. Well, within the reason of this, it has to be flavorful. I don't want to do anything that's like artificially hot. That I don't want to do. But if it's any kind of flavored stuff, yeah, no, I'm like, in. No extract? Yeah, no like extract stuff. I, that stuff always tastes like crap. Yeah, it, it's it's the, I'm over the fake heat for heat. The toe of Satan. Yeah, that has no flavor to it, man. It's just heat. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad. Can we get five gifted sub? Mm, how oh, close are like, we to it? Little tiny bit of salt on that. Hmm. <coughs> Wrong pipe. Because I can't like manage my own saliva anymore the older I get. Why is that? Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am super down for a hot food challenge. But there's part of me that I'm just, I'm so over the, the, I want flavor. I don't know, I'd put these at like, I'm sure you'd be able to handle these wings, uh, but that one wing, I felt it. Like, so that's the sauce that Herbie tapped out on. I'm, I'm literally that sweating Reaper, a little bit. The Reaper is so spice forward. And I actually did two different Reaper sauces on that. Mm. That makes you crazy. You got hot food is just so much better. You know what I could, if we do this, instead of doing just a straight up like artificially made for the YouTube challenge bit, um, you know what I'm talking about. The toe is Satan, everybody knows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, why don't we do um, like the hottest sauces from around the world challenge, right? What do you think about that? Like we'll do hot wings, but we'll do like a hot one style thing. Like me and Hermie did that one time. Mm-hmm. And, um, but the, the thing that I liked about it is that it's not just heat for heat, it's also heat for flavor as well. Mm. Oh, me too, City Builder. I get, I get very, I get very teary. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I mean, I can handle it, of course. I'm, yeah, you I'm can. Talking or whatever. But that's pretty spicy. I'm pretty spicy. I can't get over how delicious this is. Mm hmm. All right, as every one of our cooking streams, and I think it's an important thing, cost. Honestly, the wings were the most expensive thing here today. Mm -hmm. Like 23 bucks was it for that 21, one? 21 for like, I don't know how many wings are in there. Mm. 40 segments probably. Like 40 wings for like $21. Not good, not good. Yeah, the wings were very expensive. This cut of beef, which is the uh, the skirt steak, was, yeah, it's pretty expensive. But, um, well, we didn't cook all the wings either. Like we only cooked up five mm -hmm. of like 25 in the package. So there's like mm -hmm. many of those. I know it's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I only got them because we were, we were talking them. about it and mm -hmm. we've been craving them and yeah. Um, the meat was 12? 12 per pound and it's about, it was like a pound and a third or something like that for the meat. So it was like $13 for mm -hmm. the meat. Egg noodles were a dollar. Um, oh, you can eat wings for $13.99? That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I can usually get the wings so much cheaper than that, like a five pound bag. For Oh yeah, we've been we've been. But I haven't been lucky. ordering because we haven't had like the money to do an order. So, um, an onion, spices. I did get the fresh spices. I think the fresh spices were a total about six fifty ish or something like that. We have a lot of spices left over though. We do. Um, mushrooms, shiitakes were three bucks. You reckon the mushrooms were a dollar? Mm-hmm. 
They're cheap. Mm -hmm. Again, Pennsylvania. Sour cream. Well, we, we didn't buy that. We, we already had it. Had it. Hmm. Our kids love sour cream. Mm -hmm. A beef broth. Beef broth was like three bucks or four bucks. But there was, there's a lot more servings mm -hmm. than we used as well. Which will go into other meals. Mm -hmm. Like all this stuff doesn't go to waste. It's all oh, for yeah, one. Oh yeah, for sure. So I think out the door, um, out the door it was actually, it was a way more big expensive bill, but I also got other things that we needed that wasn't part of the dish, like mm -hmm. for kids' foods for lunches yeah. and stuff. Mm. I would say it was probably, with a bunch of leftover, it was still about $45. Mm -hmm. That's that's a lot for this. The sauce is so, oh wait, Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard, yeah. Which we didn't have, but Again, we only used a tablespoon out of the, the thing, which we'll have forever. Mustard doesn't really go bad. It's eating good, so my thing is, I'm, I'm really enjoying this dish, though. This is really, this is actually better stroganoff than I've had in a while. Yeah. Um, well, this is a lot better than the, the makeshift stuff I've made before. Mm-hmm. And... The fresh herbs and mushrooms... Make a huge difference. Huge. So, I will have to say, though, for value, this is not the cheapest dish. Mm -mm. Like, not at all. I mean, no. there's a lot left over too. There's a, there is a lot left over. I multiple mean, meals. And we could use we could use cheaper beef. Mm -hmm. Like I've made stroganoff with ground beef before, and it's it's edible. Oh, Dijon mustard will not last in this house. Either. Oh no, it won't last. But mustard doesn't go bad, so it at least it'll be good until we eat it. It won't like mm -hmm. expire, you know. I wonder. I know what you're thinking. Are I you? think I do. Are you? What if you smoke the meat first? Smoke the meat first. I don't see how it could be bad. I think it would take it next level. Yeah. You know, I would do it on a, on a very, uh, a fruit wood, like a plum or a cherry. Mm. All right, I'm in. Plum, cherry, or apple wood. Smoke that on there, then do the dish. I think it would make this a little bit more tender. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, the, the, the steak isn't very tender. I think I think I might do like a chuck. Honestly, anything if we would braise it, it would just be. You could even use you could even use like leftover brisket. Dude, leftover brisket stroganoff. Has anybody done this? Did I invent something, or has anybody else ever done this? No, I'm. We're doing this. <laughs> I'm always down for more meat, Shayana. <laughs> Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Leftover brisket with this would be so good. I could taste it right now. Oh my god, I invented something. The meat's good. It's cooked well. It's, it's good. a it's little just, tough. It's, it's a little tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when like when we give it to Mini Raj tomorrow, I'm gonna have to cut it up into the teeny little cubes. Mm -hmm. Like the sauce fine. is delicious though. The sauce is so good. I'll be honest, that's the worst meat I've cooked in like two years. Mm -hmm. By far. I think, yeah, I think we have to like braise it or, yeah, and skirt is a little tough. We the skirt is a little tough, but I, like the way I've been cooking meats, I've been rendering the fats like really, really well, and this just doesn't have the opportunity to do mm -hmm. so. So in order to do it, you just, now you're, you're, you're buying the $30 pound meat to do it like mm -hmm. that. So, uh, yeah, or ground beef, I guess. That's why people substitute that in. Also because it's cheap and you need to get it done for dinner in half an hour. Mm-hmm. But that the is damn brisk, delicious. Leftover brisket stroganoff. Mm -hmm. We will revisit this with leftover brisket. That sounds like it could be a barbecue video too. That is a that is a challenge bit too. For uh, when's the next brisket coming our way, guys? Oh, right? wi the winter brisket. Mmm. Always makes server with leftover Italian meatballs. Really? Oh, oh I bet that's good though. You know, because this reminds me a little bit of, um, it's similar to like Swedish meatball sauce, a little bit. Yes. That's what mm -hmm. that's what this reminds me of. Like, like the kids did not like the the Swedish meatballs when I made them. I think there was a like a certain spice that they didn't like in it or something like that. There were li there's something. There was one weird bit of it. I can't remember what it was. It was, it was a, there's, a there's, flavor. There is a weird flavor in it. I like it. I know, but it's definitely a weird flavor. It is a weird flavor. You never had smoked meat city builder. You are you are you West Coast? 
Yeah, stroke this sauce is incredible. With the mushrooms, the onions, the Worcestershire, the Dijon mustard. It is delicious. Are we like out of blue cheese? Dressing? Yeah. I don't know the last time I used blue cheese dressing. I got a ranch, but it's ranch. All right, now, uh, uh, yeah, we got a little bit. We got no, you're in New York. Oh, you're pretty close then, bro. We're in Pennsylvania. Bring a plate. Next time we, next time we do a brisket. A brisket. <laughs> brisket has a lot of, a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, the, the homemade smoked meats. Mm-hmm. Oh hell yeah. Game changer. Get them fresh off the smoker. It is. It, I've had nothing like it. I can't go back. I just can't. No, you can't. Shit. What do you mean? No paper towel, napkin, I'll something get like that. Here we go, guys. We're gonna finish off. We're gonna polish off these wings. I just wanted to get. Honestly, I wanted to get a. Good, I know what these taste like. I wanted to get a good flavor profile for the stroganoff we made. Home smoked is a different class. Yep, it definitely is. And you get to try different things. And you have like... Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Man, I love me some spicy wings though. Mmm, 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 mmm. What is the thing about blue cheese that goes well with ring, wings or ranch? Ranch is a powerful flavor. I want to taste the wings, not the sauce as much. And uh, it's sweeter. But. Each there, I love blue cheese too. There's something about it. There's a flavor. It's a flavor thing. Uh-huh. Orange, what do you prefer, honestly? It's kind of like, a, it's kind of like saying, well, you can't eat wings unless they're this spicy. You know, you, however you want to do it. Mm. Mm. Wingstop is expensive. Mm -hmm. They Some weren't even places. that good last time we had them, were they? No, they were terrible. What'd you miss? No, there's an empty plate here, huh? Miss Stroganoff. <laughs> I'll be back on cam in a sec. I'm just uh, using a toothpick. I don't like to do that in front of people. Mm hmm. That's where you're planning to go tomorrow? I'll give it a go. If you gotta have wings, you gotta have wings. Mm -hmm. I understand that too. But the thing is, right? I kind of complain about the wing price, but the honestly, um, the honest truth is that what we paid for it, yeah, we made it ourselves and butchered it ourselves. Mm -hmm. But that's still, it's like five times cheaper than you're gonna get at the restaurant. It's still way cheaper. Mm. God, I, just, I swear to God, guys, if you can handle heat, fucking flavor is so good. Mm -hmm. But uh, also, this heat is no joke. No joke. The best part is you know what's in it. Yeah. True story. Mm -hmm. I've always found that like cooking it yourself. Oh, take a look at this. This actually might give you guys a really good thing. You probably see it from over there. Look at how almost greasy that looks. It's not greasy. That's what that's what you get with the sauce, and it does something with the texture of the sauce with the with the wagyu beef tallow. That is so damn good. It looks like it just be like. It does. It does look like, like pizza grease. It, that's what it looks like. Not it. Not at all. It's like a texture thing that you get, but not that. So yeah. that, it's it's tallow fat that's over top of it, and I cannot describe. If you have not done this yet, try it. Get my steak. Need some food snake. now? Hey, fair <laughs> Snake's got his, Snake's like, gotta go open a new box of Crayolas, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat the wing flavored ones. Oh no, Scarlet Air wants to know what appendicitis feels like? Uh oh. I've never had it. Knock on, oh, this is not wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. My noggin. Probably not good. But probably don't let them be that. Then you'll probably think you have it. Speaking of like, was that effect called? The psychosomatic. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Hamp, I just woke up a bit ago and I'm halfway through a dragon's milk stout aged three months in bourbon barrels, 11% alcohol. No, I'll say that. Cheers, buddy. Boop, boop. Didn't my mom get you like a bunch of big bottles of that once? Yes, she did. Was it that <laughs> my mom's like, when it comes to like gift giving, if she knows you like something, anything that's worth doing is worth overdoing. And she's like, oh, Raj really liked this kind of beer. I'm going to get him four big bottles of it. And she put, she put it in a box too. And I thought, I was like, what did you get me, bricks? What the hell is this? <laughs> it was so heavy. Oh, you want to grab what my dad bought me down for chat? Chat will think I'll appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, you guys know my favorite whiskey, right? Oh, I need the stool. I pretty much everybody knows my favorite whiskey at this point. I'm sweating a little bit. You might, we might have new, new folks in chat. You might want to just talk about it real quick. So my favorite one is Akintoshin Three Wood. And everybody knows it. My family knows it. I ask them when they go out of state if they can pick me up a bottle. And um, my dad says, let's go down to a liquor store here in Jersey and see if they got it down here, the one you like. And I said, I can't afford that. He goes, don't worry about it. I was like, are you sure, Pop? And he's like, yeah. So they didn't have it. They didn't have my Akintoshi. But he's like, what's the second best? So he got me a bottle of that. Mm-hmm. The Balvenie Double Wood. Aged 12 years whiskey. It's very good. It is super good. It was also super not cheap. But uh, I won't be, uh, I'll have like a glass here and there. I'm not gonna drink too much of that. But it is a super good whiskey. That's so good. And it's a little, it's a little nostalgic. Yeah, it is. Last time we had that, we had we were with a bunch of friends. Mm-hmm. So that's nice. That, no, this is sipping whiskey. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure. But it was not cheap. <laughs> but me and my dad, of course, shared a glass. Shared one with Hermie. You know, yeah, pull, I was like, I, was like I, have, I had some too. Mm -hmm. I like a whiskey. God, this is like a paint can. Wow. <laughs> so that's how much we hit. We sipped. If this, if if this much of an alcohol made it past a, a weekend with Raja's family, you know it's a sipping alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Why did I put the lid back on? I don't know. I don't know either, Raj. <clears throat> Anything that equals a private's paycheck, I agree. Sure. That was super nice of my pops. Yes. Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Even he said, he goes, oh, I don't want to hit that too much. He's like, that's too easy to drink. Yep. It's very smooth. And he's like, but I know it has so much liquor in it. I'll be messed up before, uh... Yeah, whew. Why are these like... You were dumped a whole bunch of spicy sauces this in there. This is pretty freaking hot, dude. That's why they're like that. <laughs> they're not bad. I mean, they're good. I, mean, I like the spice. Oh, you know, that's the other thing. I think this is this goes. You know how capsaicin works when you get something spicy. The fact that it's in the tallow. Oh yeah. Like spreads out through your mouth uh -huh. way more. It's, it's pretty crazy. Soluble. Raj, and I quote, half a bottle. What? <laughs> I say half a bottle? That's not half a bottle. What did I say half a bottle for? I don't know. I can't, I can't uh, remember things. Hmm. I don't know what you said. I don't know what I said. What am I doing? Yes, animal fats, definitely. And then when you have the capsaicin, because it is fat soluble, so that, that'll, it, it spreads out, like you said. <laughs> I did say half the bottle of the hot sauce. You're right, I did. Oh. <laughs> half Mecca. the bottle of Reaper. Mecca is always here to keep you accountable. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant the whiskey for a second. I was like, eh. no, it's just this much gone, bro. That's, 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 the, that's the top, that's the bit that goes like this, you know? It's not the straight bit, it's the one that goes like that. It's like they passed that it's, bit. It's the bottleneck. 
Yeah. You're right, I did, I did put half the bottle plus like... Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. And that's why they're hot. I love it though, it's great. Okay. I'm sweating a little well, bit though. I mean, but you, you've literally asked the question, why are they so hot? Well, the whiskey without the spice? That's what a beer's for. Mmm. Whis uh, whiskey. Beer and hot wings, man. Match made in heaven. Can you ever? No, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with that, huh? Mm. I don't think we even have any celery. Do we have celery? I don't think we nope. have celery. I thought about it, but I was like, I just, we wanted wings. I no, wasn't doing with all the wing fixings. I was like, I got the wings. We got it. Right. The blue cheese is fine. Mm. You can gnaw on some thyme twigs. <laughs> some parsley. Maybe a little different flavor on that one. <laughs> Give me some wings and thyme twigs. <laughs> Give me thyme twigs. Oh, back to the ranch versus blue cheese. I just thought about another thing. It is the flavor I find in a typical ranch dressing. It has um, that like gardeny flavor profile. And I do think that that overpowers the sauce of the wing sometimes. It's got, it's got dill in it. And mm -hmm. to me that doesn't go together. I don't like, I'm, I mean, I like ranch some things, but the blue cheese, I think the cheese also helps with the, uh, with the, the spiciness more than a ranch dressing does. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. You made my wings really spicy. I know. You did it to yourself. I mean, this is literally self-punishment. No, this is self-enjoyment. This is indulgement. Are you kidding? <laughs> You're a wing martyr. See these guns, man. Yeah. If you like the gun show, you should see my rocket. <laughs> All of chat just got to see the gun show. Got to see the gun show. Oh, man. That was good. And we have a lot left over, too. We have a lot left over. Oh, my God. I just saw what time it was. Oh, yeah. We're up late, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us on a late night, late night food stream. Late night cooking stream. I don't think we anticipated that the stroganoff was going to take that long. I think it was mostly chopping. Yeah, yeah. We probably spent as much time as uh, we did on the Thai dish chopping. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of chopping. A lot of chopping. Thank you. I'll I'll clean up the kitchen probably tomorrow. Same. Whatever. Same as we all. Same as we do. Raj gets it before the stream. I get it after the stream. Yep. Win-win. It's actually not too bad. I was kind of washing as we went. A little. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, I bet ranch, like, I, well, I used to work at a restaurant and they used to make their own ranch and that was pretty good. Like, they use actual buttermilk for. I feel like it's the kind of thing where you don't necessarily want to have the best blue cheese or the best ranch as your dipping sauce, you know? No, it's not. Yeah, you would use it for something else. Right. Like, a dipping sauce for wings is a dipping sauce for wings. Bingo. Yeah. Everybody has abs. It's just like, they're hidden, right? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you, Hambo, uh, Hambo said most are proud of their six-pack abs. I have two keg abs. <laughs> I'm with you there. That's just the fuel <laughs> tank for the love machine, baby. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Tasty, mm. wonderful. A great week of streaming ended with a cooking, a cooking stream, the best kind. Agreed. <sighs> I'm up to four. Four kegs? Four beers on my lunch break. <laughs> four abs? <laughs> ah. Do we want to go find us a raid victim? Would you want to do it, yeah. Oh. I mean, sure. Guys, we're gonna call it a stream there. We're gonna look for a raid victim real quick. Um, raid. When we walk over there, we're gonna feed back. Okay. So we have to mute, but we're gonna get, we're gonna get a raid together, guys, and we'll see you over wherever we go raiding. But thank raiding. you so much for joining us. Thanks for all the support this week. We'll do more of this in the yes. future when we hit the sub goals, guys. Indeedy. Thank you so much for uh, supporting us and hanging out with us this week. We'll see you on Monday, everybody. See you on Monday.